It's really cool. Keyboard. Cheers to, to the, the Skywalker saga. Closure of the Skywalker saga. The finale. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome. That's really good. Everybody. To Rebels Reacts to Star Wars Episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker. I've been waiting for this moment for so long to be able to sit here and talk about everything. Spoilers. Full spoilers. Yeah. There's no point doing See this. See this without. movie first and then yep. listen to us talk about it. Yep. So we're going to blah, 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 give you a moment to realize that you shouldn't be on this video. Wherever you are, yep. if you're watching this and you haven't seen the movie, go stop see the what movie. you're doing and go see the movie. <laughs> Period. All right. We're getting the spoilers now. Here we go. Okay. Can I say something? Go for it. Because I've been thinking about this and waiting to say this. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite Star Wars movie. I mean, we're ranking them on Tuesday, but but all right. This is my favorite Star Wars movie. It was really it's good. It's really good. Yeah. Can I take it a step further? Yeah. Oh, oh, no. Whoa. Yeah? This is my favorite movie. God, wow. wow. This is my favorite movie. That. And I know it's like, there's a lot right now. Yeah. yeah. This is this is my favorite movie. I'm, I'm definitely still processing. Yeah, and same. And I have a lot of views to get through of this movie still, but... It's definitely you, a contender. You saying, let's go see it again tonight. Yeah. And me being like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's all I want to do. How many times do you think you'll see it? As, uh, as many as I can. Yeah. This might be a like, like go after work and go see the movie. With and a list, then, anything's possible. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I can see it three times a week. Yep. Okay. okay. So we have seen. I had to say that. Your new favorite movie. Yep. That's a huge statement. Mm -hmm. Were you expecting that? Were you, was that even in the realm of possibility that you would walk out of this seeing your new favorite movie? It was in the realm of possibility, but not based on anything. Right. Based on my wildest dream and hope. And it's it's the opposite of two years ago. Oh, complete. Where, where I went in expecting that last yeah. year. Just, and uh -huh. came out thinking I don't know how to contemplate what, how I'm feeling. And this, this I, I said it, I said... They have a chance. Yeah. They have a chance. And they didn't just take that chance. They took it so far. And there's a lot of moments that I can't wait to talk about. Yeah. That were just like, I love you. This movie was... So I don't have a tattoo. Yeah. Yeah. Should I get a Star Wars tattoo? Or should I get a J.J. Abrams tattoo? <laughs> you can do both. You could do both. <laughs> get like J.J. holding a lightsaber or something. Get his glasses. So, remember how I was, uh, how there was something going on right before we watched the movie at Ethan's house? Oh, God, yeah. Do you know what what she was dealing with before? Yeah, because I no, I yeah. had to talk to her about it, or otherwise I was going to be thinking Did about... Did something get spoiled for you? That no. Was the, so, that was the first I thing I asked. I was listening to... I listen to the radio when I drive, uh -huh. so thank you, KPCC. <laughs> um... And they brought up the Star Wars movie uh -huh. and they were saying how critics did not like it Oh, and just critiquing it. And one of the things they said was they gave the fans everything they ever wanted. Yeah. What? And that, that's, that's a, oh, that was, that's a critique. Yeah. Cause a it bad was a critique, a bad critique. Cause oh, it was taking away from the it. artistry yeah. of it. Some they people don't, don't, don't like fan service. They don't get it. Somehow this, fan service is a bad thing to people. This is the best done fan service ever. Yeah. Cause it's ever subtle and appropriate yep. and placed correctly. Yep. And, and that's all has, I was thinking after. And it yeah. has yeah. meaning. That's all I was and it's just a quick side note about Mandalorian. Is I felt some of that fan service. Mm -hmm. She hasn't seen episode chapter seven yet. Yeah. So I don't want to talk about that. Be, I know. And I can I just can I say something without spoiling? Yes. Yeah. I mean, I I asked you, is there gonna be something in that 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 references into this? And there was. A hundred percent. That's why they did it before. Yes. I knew they were going to it's do something. Not, not plot. You don't have don't worry about that. Yeah. No, you're we'll it's watch good. it though. We'll watch it though, and you'll and you'll realize why. Yeah. Okay. That's why they did it two days before and not mm -hmm. the night of. Mm -hmm. And I love it. Thank you for yeah. The second I saw that about to happen, yeah, I'm like, I, I know, I, I, I know I what you're doing. And you were like, wow. <laughs> it was so cool. I'm like, unfortunately, dying we can't to say know. because because we can't spoil it for you. Yeah, we can't spoil it for you. It's 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 not like a huge thing. It's, uh, yeah. but it's it is it's like a, a fun little detail that 
We'll so, watch it. You'll be like, oh, and then we'll go see it again, and it'll be fun for you to like see it, it in okay. the again. Yeah, I, I won't say anymore. That's yeah. That's that's all we'll say about. No, but it, in terms of the fan service, is I feel like a lot of the fan service in the Mandalorian has been fan service for fan service sake. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And everything in this movie w- had purpose and meaning and uh, consequence. Yeah. To, to everything they did. This, I mean, I mean, they were wrapping up the three, three trilogies of trilogies. Three trilogies. It was so, it was respectful of yeah, all of them. They kind of they kind of had to do it, and I think. That's what I realized after that, like, you know, they had to bring it all together. Mm-hmm. They're wrapping it up. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. It yeah. can't just it w- be like a little last movie of just the yeah. previous movie. It's the last movie of nine. Yeah. Of the, the, the IP, the property, the mega franchise that is Star Wars yeah. that started in 1977. Mm-hmm. That's, like. That's got to be what the critics don't understand, though. I yeah. so I I wanted to make one comment because you didn't see anything before. No, so, I had been affected, and I I, mean, I told you ways mm-hmm. the Rotten Tomato score came out yesterday. Yeah, apparently, okay. and I was like, I'm avoiding. About. Yeah, I didn't everything. see that. You won't believe what it is. I don't even want to know now. I don't no, care. Yeah, no. I don't care. No, because I know it's wrong. Clearly, based on what you're saying, and so. But what I do want to say. So, uh, one night I was watching the Laker game, and it was on CBS when I turned the TV on to switch it over, because I always have it on another channel, so the game's not spoiled. CBS, all of a sudden, they're reporting on first impressions of Star Wars. And before I realized what was happening, I saw two, like, blurbs. Quotes. Of, from, like, two different people. Yeah. Both raving. Yeah. And so it was one of those, like, oh, I don't want to see more, but, like, it started. Gets you a little excited. I was like... It was the spark that lit the fire that... I was like, created can I, your favorite can I be movie? confident? <laughs> then, Wish that's what I saw. <laughs> then somebody texted me, and it was a Forbes article saying this was like the worst movie ever. What? And so I was like, what? Then Brandon talked to me today, and he said Adam talked to him and told him that reviews are really mixed. Brandon's smart. What he said was, ignore that, and that's what I told. And that's what I told my ignore that. Mm-hmm. These these initial people, they want to be edgy, they want to be whatever. Do not never listen to the initial critics. Right. All I wanted was the the last trailer they gave us because that's all Disney wanted me to know, and I blocked out everything after yep. that, even the TV spots. Except I'm like, I'm the, done. The Fortnite clip that we watched. That's okay. Which was that was fun. I'm so that happy was we so much participated fun. in that because JJ and... wanted us to be there. Because yep. JJ was there. Yep. So yeah, I'm gonna be there. <laughs> oh man, JJ, I love you. Thank you, JJ. <laughs> I we we felt it after seven. Mm-hmm. That 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 feel. And, I, and it was, I want him to do all of these. When I saw him at Star Wars Celebration, just from like away in the crowd, I'm like, you're going to make this good. You're, you're going to fix. No, I saw him before seven even. I'm like, oh, this is, oh, you're going to take this in a good place. Like, you are the You guy. are the right person. Did he not do eight? Nope. Nope. Ryan and he wasn't going to do, really? and he Ryan wasn't, Johnson. And he wasn't no. going to do nine. Really? But then Ryan Johnson did eight. Yeah. And he was like, I have to come back. Mm-hmm. And he should have done eight. Was Ryan supposed to do nine? No. Or was it, it was, in it the was air? Gonna be a third, it was going to be a third different person. Yeah. It could only be JJ. Yep. Yeah. And I'm almost, I mean, I'm not happy that he didn't direct all three. I'm but okay like, with this it. is such a cool redemption. He's like, look, I got this, guys. And I'll fix it. So He did the first one, right? Yeah. yeah. He, did he did seven and nine. Mm. I'm not going to flip and start bashing eight. No. no. I, but I'm, no I'm, we don't need I'm to go there. I'm really happy I got to a good place with that movie. To where I felt like at peace and like only looking forward. Yeah. Not this like, I need this movie to fix that. I didn't feel like that. Yeah. I just wanted to take in whatever this was. But understandably, that was the polarizing movie. This is a great movie and end to this entire saga. Mm-hmm. And I don't know how anyone can argue that. There's, there's nothing to cr- critique nope. about it either. I have like, no criticisms. I have no. some questions. I have no criticisms. I was even yeah. like during the movie, I was like, I was almost confused why I didn't have any criticisms. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm like, I think I think this is perfect. At a couple points, I was kind of looking for them. Like, do I hate that? No, no I don't. I like they, that. And then they did something, and you're like, no, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Like like there were moments where it could have gone that way, yeah. but it, it it ended good every time. Mm-hmm. God, it was so much fun. Should we? Start talking about some of this stuff. Yes, we should. I, I don't even know where to start. I don't know where to start. I mean, it's two and a half hours of yeah, epic. This is why thing after epic this thing. is why. Um, uh, oh my god, I can't think of his name. The comic guy, 
uh, from Clerks, uh, Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith, yeah. Said that the it Indian melted his mind. melt your mind. I wasn't ready for how intense things were going to get. And also, this was the dark Star Wars that I wanted it to be. Yeah. Yes. This thing was creepy at some point. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm like, this is they so great. In, I they, loved it. They really uh, established what Star Wars is in this movie. Yeah. What it all means, what it's all been for, what it was all building to, leading to ev- everything. Yeah. How? Yeah. Did they pull this off? It, it, it really wrapped up every arc. It's it doesn't, crazy. It doesn't seem possible. In in like I it's only possible because I've seen the movie. Oh my god. Yeah, cuz I couldn't fathom what was going to happen. Nope. Yeah. I had pieces, but I didn't know where they were and where they were chronologically or how they were going to fit together, but it tied together perfectly. Maya, what was your favorite part? I was going to ask you guys that right now. Yeah? Yeah. I beat you to it. <laughs> my Do favorite you know? part is when Kylo and Ray went head to head and were... Remember, it's full. The, like the full lightsaber spoilers, yeah. battles were amazing oh, in this so movie. Cool. Are you talking about the one on the the destroyed Death Star? The destroyed the, Death Star. The, oh, with yeah. the water, the waves, yeah. and them just going back and forth. That was like giving everything they had. <sighs> that yeah. the first time we ever saw a force stop yeah. a lightsaber. Yeah. Oh, that was so back cool. to back. Yeah. Oh my back god. To back. I did. I've. I think this is the most animated I've ever been in a movie. Yep. Uh, uh, I, so many moments of like, wait, that's possible. They're doing that. How are they doing this? And it's like, oh my god, he was literally like yeah. pushing the blade away. Incredible. That scene that like was... just plays to your like inner child, where yeah. like you just want to go outside, <laughs> get your lightsaber, and just. You need to get just one. Just reenact that. <laughs> you need yours, especially now. Yeah. After that, Maya. We, we've seen two new lightsabers now. <laughs> after that, you need yours. You have to have one now. Her lightsaber is pretty sick. Which one? Ray's or Leia's? Ray's. How was that a thing? Oh, it was I nuts. That I ever it was nuts. Right nuts. Now. Yeah, and that's that one was of those cool. scenes that shouldn't work in theory. Yeah. And I, I, I had this initial trepidation of, yeah. oh, don't be bad, don't be bad, her, don't, don't be awkward, and it was. Her activator's wild. She like turns the thing. Well, that's Ray's lightsaber. Yeah. No, I'm saying the. Oh, when, Leia's when we, and when we see it, yeah, oh, that yeah. was this that cool too because yeah. it was passed. Yeah, and I saw they had the blast shields down. I got nervous. Yeah, and I was like, "Oh, are they either not going to show them, or are we going to get weird CG?" And it was perfect. It was great. It, they, Seeing they, young Luke, even I it loved. Dark. It made me so happy. Yeah, yeah. it was yeah. the right way to do that. Yeah, young Luke yeah. looked so good, and he and did. young Leia looked similar to Rogue One, but I never had an issue with it. No. And it was dark and it was quick, so you're fine with it. To, to get but, that scene is more important. But I don't care. Right. No. Yeah. It's like, even if it didn't look good at all, yeah. I would be like, mm-hmm. I like that they're doing this because it has to, I, I, it has to be her. I have to see her. For the story. Even if you don't have the technology, like, I understand. Yeah. Like, it's mm-hmm. fine. Just do it. Yep. Do what you have to do. It, it, and that's what I mean. And yeah, it was like, really good. For, they, it was the right call. How, however you had to make that work. It was oh, just God. the right decision. Yeah. So uh, while we're on Leia, let's talk about Leia. Because yeah. she... Just, this is this enhances her character in my opinion yeah. so much to such a level that is I, I never expected to that to come out of this movie. I didn't expect her to have a lightsaber at all, or that she had even yeah. considered having one or training for one. Or yes, that that makes what happened in eight better. And I was thinking, I about was going to say too. that too. There are yeah. definitely about, things in this movie that make aspects of eight better. And they, mm-hmm. they, it was, I think it was intentional. Yeah. I think it was intentional. He had to fix it. Yeah. I, I, I will leave eight in the past it, with this last statement. There are, yeah. there are definitely things yeah. in eight that can't be fixed with this yeah. movie. Yeah. The, the, Just storylines, but there I, are, I would argue but some parts actions got fixed. in that movie that are fixed, like Leia floating. And like, it's like yeah. when you see that she was using the force and training to be a Jedi. Yeah. With Luke. With Luke. And that she was a pretty S- badass one. So much so that she's Ray's master. What? <laughs> I mean, I saw her there. I wasn't expecting that, but when she called her master, I'm like, wait. It, and it, mm-hmm. it was such like a subtle what? thing where you almost like it was. She just said it, uh huh. And then you're just like, oh, melt oh, mine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. yeah. You have to catch it. Like it's not in your face. <laughs> oh my god. I I all I wanted to do was run out of the theater and scream, like just in celebration of just like oh, I. Uh, 
And whatever they did to to make Leia work in this movie, however they used their movie tricks, it was perfect. It was perfect. I don't know what they had filmed, or I don't know how they did the dialogue. I don't know how they did this. I don't know how they pulled it off. I even think they like CG'd her and her like old self at some points, and like it kind of looked like it, but it still looked really good to the point where I couldn't tell. I didn't it notice was, anything. It was yeah. the best. Yeah, I agree. It was one of those things where you're. It also because we know she's passed, right? And so knowing she didn't three years was, ago, yeah. December 2016, three years ago, a year before episode eight came out. So how did they do this? Magic, magic. It ends brilliance yeah because that could have taken down star wars uh-huh and instead they pulled off the greatest and her death was better and more impactful for it i mean they they didn't have her to do that so like she was in the dark but it was also a really dark and like kind of sad moment when yep. she did what she did yeah and it just it worked so Let's talk about the death real quick, because it was tied in with the scene when they were fighting. Mm-hmm. Well, this will also lead into my favorite scene. I was so going to say, from, I want to know what your favorite scenes are. From Chewie hitting the ground mm-hmm. to oh my god, I know to Han that destroyed me to Han putting his hand in that in the end of that. Um, one, it's the possibly the first and most I've ever cried in a Star Wars movie, and. <laughs> It is the first time I I've cried was, in a Star Wars movie. I was. You two cried. N- I. That was that, the first movie I didn't cry. I was. That scene. And that and that's when I knew this movie was special. Yeah. Was. I've. I, that's. I mean, I was. I, it was. It, they were running. Yep. I was. Yep. I was. Oh my god! There was a lot of emotion. I couldn't believe it. I was not expecting that from this movie. I started when Chewie reacted to to Leia, that but was, when I saw Han. The tears shot out of my face, and it, I felt them just pouring out. Yep. It was it was the most intense. I had thought about it, but I really didn't consider him being in this movie. I didn't think he'd come back. I didn't think I so either. I thought there might be like a voice or something. Yep. But and it wasn't necessarily even just seeing him. One, it was his memory. Yes. It, so, which I beautiful. But, but was beautiful. it conjured by Leia? No. I, I felt like she. It, in a way, I thought she was like that's projecting Han because she was holding his medal. Like, was she? I I don't think it was. That's that's a really interesting point. I I think that is less genuine because. Let me let me just yeah. say, because then it's like Leia tricking Kylo with like here's Dad redeeming you. What was hitting me was that this was all coming from within. That this was all there the whole time. Oh, yeah. That even when he killed him, yeah. and I felt it when we saw Seven, that he didn't want to do that. No, no. but he was definitely torn about like, doing that. That light was going, mm-hmm. and, and something happened, and he and he did it. He realized, I have to do this. Like, And and so this was like the full realization, and, and uh, uh, there was a comment made where, uh, in, the, in this movie where he still has visions, and he still thinks about that. Yeah. And it just... His char- his characterization is just... its He's incredible. They did a good job Perf- in this movie perfect. with Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren is incredible. That's the Kylo Ren that like I've been dying and waiting I, I to, would... to see. Like that's He's yeah. my favorite Star Wars he's... character. Has been since 7. Mm-hmm. He's amazing. But okay, just before we get away, this leads into my first question. Yes. So what did Leia do then? What killed her? He felt her. She just it was like, a like gave him a force hug essentially. That exa- that's that's exactly perfect way to put it. Okay, it was a Ben. I can. It's okay. Yeah, I know you have this conflict. Yeah, trust yourself. Do do the right thing. Yeah, and 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 and, and he did it. I love that it's, force hug. I'm so down for yeah, that. <laughs> it's perfect. The the use of force in this movie. For when he grabbed the beads off of her neck, mm-hmm. I, mm-hmm. Yeah. that just started it all off of this, this, but tel- it like led to the coolest effing thing I think I've ever seen in Star Wars. Which part? <laughs> oh, when she passes in the lightsaber through the force. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the oh. hell? Oh, my God. That at, was cool. At what point did you realize Kylo was going to get that lightsaber? I mean, it was quick. It happened fast. No, no. But, oh, uh, when, oh, oh when because it's his. It's meant to be his. He says in seven, he's like, that belongs to me. And then he used it. 
Oh god, yeah, I did realize that in the movie. It was like, when, you need to be using when, this lightsaber. When we saw Leia's, yeah. I was like, oh my god, he's gonna get the other one. Uh-huh. But I also like that Ray still made her own. She's like, Leia's isn't mine either. That no. was beautiful. Yeah. yeah. So I can't wait to see the entire end scene again because it's the most I've ever needed to pee in a movie <laughs> ever. And I will say right now, it was the first time I've ever genuinely considered just letting it go. Did the yellow blade make it even worse? <laughs> like, no, why? why? <laughs> oh my God. Maybe on some subconscious level. That's so funny. Yellow. I love it. It's interesting. Let's mix it up. I Let's liked mix it. it up. Yeah. Yeah. So my favorite scene was was Han. That just hit me in the feels. What was yours? I, I mean, I, I I'd have to go with that that whole. I I I'm processing and trying to remember everything. Right. Right. Right now, just because of the the emotion, the impact, the tying the movies together, changing the context of everything, his redemption, his transformation, all of that that was encompassed in that whole sequence. Yeah, that was that was the it, it's the poster. Like that, yeah. that was... Oh, I see what you're saying. That, no, that fights. I thought you were talking about the end. No, 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 no. I mean, that that chunk yeah. right there, not necessarily them landing and all of that, but from them fighting... the turning and, point for... And then her stabbing him and all, all of that was just that... That That's my favorite. God, that was brutal. When she, sequence. when she killed him, essentially. I'm like, oh my God. But then I knew she had that power, so I'm like, okay, he'll be okay. And then... Everything turns from there. I hope. Yeah. yeah. I don't think we needed to sit in that too much. No. I'm I'm happy that that wasn't like we didn't need a whole like oh my god he's da 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 and then like oh no he's fine like I I think they that, that because was, it all gets reflected again later. There was That's more, the important yeah. moment later. Exactly. Um, we'll get to that. We'll 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 talk about the entire end in, in a little bit. Um, yes. Do we want to talk about Palpatine? Of course. So, boom. Right off the bat. So, it makes sense. I love that you said that. Because so, that's all I'm thinking. Like, that's the next thing that I want to so talk about. All, I was wondering, like, uh, so the fact that they revealed that he was going to be in this movie was uh-huh. like a, whoa, I can't believe they revealed that he's going to be in this movie. Yeah. And then Kathleen Kennedy said, like, we thought about this. We were like, no, we want people to know he's going to be in this movie. The fact that it opens up and his name is in, like, the first paragraph. Yeah. That first sentence. I was like, that, we need... It's the entire basis of this movie. It's not, yeah. it's not a it secret. It would have been too shocking. I think I agree. What? He's in this? That What? Huh? I think they handled that perfectly. Oh, and the opening was awesome of Kylo just destroying people and then flying through this weird, like, yeah. blood vessel yep. system. I love his and ship. It's, it's so cool, Everything right? about him is yeah. the coolest. Yep. Yeah. They nailed it. God. And uh, so, and then, so we get to the Sith planet. Have we heard of that planet before? No. New planet. What was it called again? Existan? Ex- yeah, I'm not, I'm Man, not. I had it in the movie. Like, I had it in my head. I could recite it, but now I've forgotten. Yeah. X something, the Sith planet. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's but, the Sith planet. Yeah. Um, Which is cool so, that there is that. Yeah. So let's, let's, let's. It's everything you'd Im- imagine a Sith planet that, to look a, like. Yeah, it looks creepy but as hell. More, yeah. <laughs> let's touch on a couple things real quick. Yeah. First, how cool to see the Sith just a, 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 in a movie officially. They, they did some stuff in Clone Wars where you got to see a Sith planet with some old temples and stuff. But this is the first in an official Clone Wars. Yes. At the end of Clone yeah. Wars. Uh, I think Maul goes there or something. Uh, and this was the first time you see the statues. You see all of that. A reflection of Jedha. Yes. I, or, or uh, you know, the opposite of Jedha where they have like their the Jedi, Jedi statues, statues and, stuff. and that, temples and stuff. It's like, of course, there's both sides seen. of it. Yeah. yeah. And... I, do, I think so I was thinking about this when it was going on I I think I told you my theory we talked you about did Snoke not. didn't we talk about no, Snoke no I, I said don't tell me but write it down did you write it down I don't know if that's what it was but I I don't and I'm trying to think at what point maybe I said it to Brandon when we when I watched Last Jedi on yeah. Friday yeah but I I had some thing where I was like I think Palpatine is Snoke he was, Snoke was a puppet and I it's genius. Yeah. It's genius. Now, did he actually create him? Uh, did you see the vat of Snoke's? Yep. Forgot about that. You so caught that, right? So, no. so Snoke was the clone. All this time, everyone's like, who's the clone? Is Ray a clone? Blah, blah. Snoke I heard, was a clone. I heard, so I heard the Ray is a clone theory. I hated it. 
and I hadn't heard it before and it messed with me because I was like, oh my God. She's she's a clone. That's what they're gonna do. That's why she's so powerful. Well, and that makes something. that scene in eight makes sense too, with all of the race. And that's why I was like, oh my god, she's a clone. But I didn't like it. I, I didn't it. want that to be a thing. So I shut that down. I, uh, I actually forgot about that. I'm so happy I forgot that yeah. I heard that. Yeah. Uh, he had a vat of Snokes. Like, <laughs> what? That's did you so see that? Weird. No. So when they walked in, there there was a like a tank. And it was just like a bunch of Snokes. Like, did you oh. ever watch the original Power yeah. Rangers movie where there's the big tube and like the face yes. in it? It was like that, but Snokes in it. A bunch it. of bodies of Snokes. Just floating in some goo. Ugh. And it makes so much sense. He organized everything. He's always been puppeteering everything. From one. Uh-huh. It's, it only makes sense. When he did the thing where it was his voice and then Vader's voice voice and then Snoke's voice I might have had that order wrong but it's like yeah he really has been the mastermind of everything he's been either manipulating people or literally controlling people or literally being people Mm -hmm. since the very beginning yeah it's crazy that they brought him back though like and he was so cool too he was dead and like lifeless his eyes were all white that was literally plugged in yeah that was perfect. It was beautiful. Because I thought he was going to just be alive again, but not really. Like, he's, yeah, I was, he's dead, but... I, I thought he was going to be some kind of ghost. Yeah. yeah. I was wor- and I was like, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't work. But it's like the dark side of the force is just working through him, this this lifeless body almost. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Until the, until the end. But so I feel like we shouldn't get to the end. Yeah. No, I know, since I know. there's a lot to unpack there. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, yeah. What, no, what were you... Yeah. I was going to say, I don't know if I want to say anything about the end yeah we're we're in, in the video at all in the video yeah well no no, no, no we're talking everybody about watching has seen has seen yeah the we're movie. spoiling everything <laughs> remember so we need to talk about the end of the movie okay. that's the most but important part there's there's let's talk about more stuff ray's training scene on i don't know what the name of the planet was i don't know if they told us did they I, yeah i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure that's one thing i don't like I, I don't need them to like egregiously say like hey we're on this planet they but named like, every planet though for the most part so yeah. they may have i think they said something and we just didn't but this is also why i see star wars so many times because yeah. i want to know everything yep i want to know the names of all the planets. i want, I want to know all the lore everything so the the training scene with her watch it again already. yeah i know, uh, <laughs> I like, know. we're talking about this but i I'd, I'd rather be watching i'm gonna see it <laughs> I, I, love like, that. I might I love see that. it at least 10 times oh let's do okay. it yeah. Or nine. I, I, I'm seeing this movie nine times. Yeah. Yep. Nine and 19. Can't. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. It's so good. Opening night. We were there. We have pens to prove it. We do. <laughs> they say opening night on them. Okay. Let's, let's keep expanding on the Palpatine thing. Yes. Yes. When did you first know? Well, okay. No. So there was a rumor a long time ago. Like people were was speculating there? that she was a Palpatine. Are we getting into that? Okay. Let's yes, just let's we do are. it. After let's... seven. And I'm like, yeah, but that's nah, weird. I kind of remember hearing about that, but no, I I, I kind of just brushed it off. Yeah. It was definitely nothing that stuck. I would have rather it have been at the time Skywalker or Kenobi or even nobody. I was like, okay, I so guess. But I really want to know if this was the plan all along. It me feels, too. It feels like it has to I be. I think it was. How I could really do it think it was. Be? I, yeah. I don't. How like, could it not be? How do you couldn't pull this out of thin air? Right. That's what I want to know, though. Like, what framework was there before they started this trilogy, and what did JJ and Ryan color into JJ it? JJ you know? had a plan, but I heard he had to change his plan. Wow. So I think he was able to uh, curve stuff. Back into, from eight into what he back wanted into what he wanted and that's, it was done beautifully that's a work of art in itself okay so that whole sequence that i said was my favorite scene uh-huh there's one other moment in the movie uh-huh where i was the only person in the entire theater that clapped that made me so happy because it might be be the moment i hate the most in last jedi yeah and it's when luke throws the lightsaber Uh uh-huh yes yes and when he said you don't disrespect this yes it was a middle finger to to that moment to jj throwing it and also it's it's uh hinting at obi-wan saying it to anakin in in two 
He's always losing his lightsabers. Like this is this is important. I didn't don't even think about that. Don't treat this like a toy. Like this is your lightsaber. So so in episode two, when they're flying through the city and he loses it, Obi Wan catches it and he's like, "Yeah, like be careful with this." Yeah, I, I like that's a that's a fun. That's what back. I was thinking of when he said that. All I was thinking was eight. I was like, "Yep." That because to me that was that was because we know Mark Hamill rolled with the, the script for eight, but he did have trepidation for initially, sure. yeah, about some of the characterization of Luke, and I think he he masterfully gave us a a, a great performance in in Last Jedi, yeah, um, for that character. But that that one moment didn't fit with everything else. This this lightsaber he hasn't seen in years. I understood his his fears and his yep. wanting to hide yep. the same way Ray wanted to hide. I, yeah. Like, I get it. That's what happened, right? She yeah. went there to go hide, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Wasn't expecting that, to no. see Octo again. And it makes the, that a little bit better, too. Yeah. Like, it, the, we, we've always said this movie will make 8 better, and it, it does. In in certain ways, it does. You know what else it made better? Hmm. Finn and Rose. Yeah. Because <laughs> Not not so much Rose, because... Yeah. Well, no. Okay. She, oh, no. She really wasn't... She wasn't you know, in it very much, but she was much. good when she was yeah. in it. That's true. Um, and I love that they didn't do anything with the kiss because that was a mistake. It was. They didn't elaborate on that. Mm-hmm. Was he looking for her though? At the end, I thought he was looking for her. Like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kiss you again now. Oh, he didn't. I'm glad he didn't. But at the end, I thought he was looking for for Rose possibly. No, hold on. Yeah, what? Go ahead. Wait, what did he want to tell Ray though? Yeah, what did he want to tell Ray? That's my question. Damn I it. Wanna, I don't know. I wanna, uh, <laughs> I wanna say what who Finn was looking for. But it's kind of spoiler for the very end. Who is he looking for? There's no spoilers. He was looking for Lando's daughter. Oh, of course. Is yeah. that what? Lando's daughter? That's what I, they were I, I Since know. I saw the, tr- the poster, I thought she was Lando's daughter. Really? Yeah. That was. And what, we don't know for sure. It's not confirmed, was. but it's pretty much confirmed. Like okay. Lando. Great. Beautiful. Perfectly used. His the way he talked. Mm-hmm. The cadence. It's it was the the hair. Like they nailed. I, I loved worried. that he was like at this festival. Like yes, he's just yes. he's just enjoying life. But he also, of course, is the person that convinces people to come and help. Yeah, the rebellion one last time. Because who else? Yeah. Then General so Lando. Were they I don't not know. There, I was. I got a little bit confused at the end. Was the Falcon not there? No, it went a different direction. Oh. Remember, it went off that way, and all the other ships went this way. No, I miss. I. I. I I kind of remember that, but Lando I... was going on a recruiting mission while everyone else went to start the attack. Okay, that makes sense. And it's so good. That Him makes and sense. Chewie, like, they're going to follow the Falcon, of course. Yeah. So, yeah, that freaking <laughs> ship. And it's on the poster right in the middle. Oh, God. Um, so I noticed you got very excited uh-huh. about when we started to see the aliens. Yeah. From the beginning of the movie. Yes, they're weird. I love it. And I, you've That's always, how they should be. You, I've, you've always, I think, been on the knows with the characters and whatnot from somebody who's pi- who's picked up star wars later yeah. yeah you have such a good feel for because for it, the character design and and the creatures it's it's they make you feel like you're there like it's real it, but none of them were like too weird like yeah. the weird maid housekeepers in episode eight i loved them they, they're a little weird though but everything in this movie just fits yeah. and works yeah and you don't question anything yeah. Moment of silence for your boy. We're going there. That's the end. No, not the end. Okay. Your boy. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. No, I don't care. He died a hero. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Donald Redeem- Gleason, my favorite actor. General freaking Hux. He's a whiny. He, he just. God, but he's the spy. He helped them. He was the spy. He, he, I didn't see that coming. He screwed over the first order. Yeah. I did not see that coming. So I literally I, like punched the air reaction, when that happened. Your reaction made me really happy. Even after I saw that everyone else got shot and it turned to him with the gun, yeah. I still didn't comprehend what was happening until he said, I'm the spy. I'm like, you Which, I was surprised beautiful you didn't human. pick up on that because... This the the very first second we saw him in this movie, I'm like, oh my god, he's a spy. I don't know why, but I just I I, I know and I knew yeah. and it was it was I didn't know why. I, I couldn't figure out why, but he had a look in eight towards the end of the movie. Yeah. Of like I'm at, of over at, this at Kylo. Yeah. Of like th- you are not why I signed up for this. Yeah. It make it makes perfect sense. And the fact he and I was confused because I was like, why would he be helping them? And it's I don't want you to win. I want him to lose. It yeah. was still selfish. It was still kind of whatever. They always have this like 
a persona in, in the movies of like these brothers that are just always trying to get like their dad's favor or something yeah. like that. Like, yeah. no, I'm the better son or something. They're always trying to one up each other. And yeah. once he becomes supreme leader, he's like, I'm going to take you down however I can. Yeah. Beautiful use of his character. <sighs> yeah. And everybody died. So it's like, give him that moment rather than yeah. just. Yeah, like, he's not going to join the rebellion. Like he said, he didn't want the rebels to win, but... So, just, do you... Uh, I, I don't know if we've talked about this. You know where his character comes from? His backstory? I remember I remember looking it up. Yeah. I don't recall. So his he, dad was somebody, he right? Was, he was the son of one of the top, top, top imperial, like, generals yeah. in the entire empire. Yeah. And he was on Jakku during that final battle. Right. Because Endor happened, but then Jakku was the final battle right. where they, they snuffed out the Empire and then they retreated into the Unknown Regions and he was on Jakku when that happened. As a kid? As a kid. Yeah. And then, you know, he went with the First Order and so I, I love I loved his story of like, he's somebody he's who has been in this for a long time. Since he was a kid. Mm-hmm. Right? And it's like, when you're a kid, like if you're on that side, like he had a personal... Kylo has not. Re- exactly. And... And so I think he he was a, a bit like he's like no I'm the guy this is my yeah. territory I, I've been here yeah and um I I just what what this movie just did for the sequel trilogy was elevate it uh, <sighs> it makes yeah it makes what it does for all nine for the entirety of this saga and for this trilogy it. I'm 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 as many words as I have. I'm almost at a loss for words. <laughs> I was I was <laughs> sad when he got shot, but yeah, I was shocked. Yeah, it was it was it was a perfect thing for him to do. Yeah, but yeah. he's also like, how much can he actually do in this movie? Exactly. You know, he's not a force user. He doesn't ever wield a lose. gun. Right. The other guy gets blown. He, out the he did window. everything they could <laughs> imagine. He did. Yeah. And yeah, that's perfect. Rest in peace. General what, Hux. So, uh, <laughs> what a uh, great actor, Domhnall Gleeson. Great actor, just great job. Um, the lead actor in my favorite movie. Yeah, still. What else? Uh, what else? Do you guys? Do you guys think? Well, okay. I want to get back to a couple questions I have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can Finn use the Force? He was aware of stuff yeah. that he should not have been aware of. I think they were hinting at some a- stuff. And it calls back to like suspicions before even seven came out. Like, yep. is he the next Jedi? Yep. It put him holding a lightsaber in new context for me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy he did. I and, want more. But they were talking about this, like this feeling that they had him and Lando's daughter, supposedly all these stormtroopers that were like, I'm not doing this, but it wasn't just a moral decision. Like they mm-hmm. felt something. And then you yeah. see, uh, Finn, knowing things that are happening away from him throughout mm-hmm. the movie like multiple times what was he was he gonna tell her like i can use the force like what was he gonna tell her yeah i, it, we I think may he have... believed in the force but i don't think you know i think he still like just associated it with like a feeling or, okay like it was the force when there's that know. too like is the force just working through him or is yeah. he like force sensitive is that is that a so, distinction i i because the force it's open into makes right now. things happen. Yeah. Right. And that's been implied for a long time. But Luke like shut himself off to the force, making mm-hmm. meaning like I can't use the force. You can like channel it through yourself or does the force I don't know. It's weird. So when Luke cuts himself off from the force, do the midi chlorians inside him die off because they're not connected? <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, because mini chlorines are a real thing. Okay, <laughs> deal with it. They're there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> what are Kylo and Ray's mini chlorine counts? That's what I want to know. Off the charts. Yeah. Off the charts. Well, I mean, that's literally what Obi Wan says in Episode One. That they they're were off both the charts. so cool. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Stay in there. I can't. You can't. <laughs> um, you, you were saying both of them. Yeah. Yeah. Talk both about them are so cool. You know, like, we got two can't. cool characters in Seven, mm-hmm. and. And they're the best. I really feel like we got the closest thing to the middle of light and dark that we'll ever see. And I, I think it's perfect because I didn't want them to be like, I'm a great Jedi. I, but we saw Kylo going towards the light and her going towards the dark. Mm-hmm. But they, they came together in like perfect harmony to do exactly what needed to be done. Because That was my theory going in was this is going to be some weird um, 
uh, riding off the force and we don't time for the Jedi to end really. And, and not like maybe not end, but definitely change and evolve. And yeah, there was going to be some weird mix of light and dark. And I, it, I think showed us that you don't have to be afraid of it necessarily like respect it, understand it, just do what's right at the, at the end of the day. That's the message. Yeah. Um, but I, I am curious where, what this means for the future. Cause we didn't get, I, I thought the other thing this movie was going to do was everybody's a Jedi now. And they didn't do that. And I'm really happy that they didn't be- do that because the end of eight, you get the kid yep. forcing the mop to him. Yep. And it, I thought for a little bit that like, okay, they're going to have this whole like army of Jedi's going yep. to attack whoever they need. That wasn't it at all. Mm. Yeah. It, 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 there wouldn't have been enough time but it's just about hope that's always what it is it's yeah. always about hope and that's why the first movie is called a new hope and yep. it's just keeping the hope alive i knew she was a palpatine yeah the okay let's... Mi- the minute she did like the, <laughs> the lightning thunder, yeah the lightning i was like i was like i knew it that was so I cool yeah, still didn't cool. realize she was at that point it didn't you click did, it, really oh immediately I, honestly i remember the thought going through my brain but just as quickly it left i'm like wow that's a sidious thing to do okay who is she though like, been, i couldn't figure it out i've been comfortable enough with the, the thought of her being having some dark side tendencies right. that when that happened i was like oh here it's coming out she's gonna have to learn how to deal with this right. i didn't connect that that's yeah, yeah I, no. knew, I knew it i don't know how you just, just it's had, a feeling. I just had a feeling. Yeah, I had a okay. feeling. It was like with Hulk's for some reason that popped up. I'm like, it's him. Yeah. Like it, it was, it was no like, hesitation. Yeah. Yeah. But like with other stuff, like that didn't even click. But yeah. Palpatine also isn't the only person that's ever used Force Lightning. Like Count Dooku could. Yeah. It's a dark it's a dark side power. Right. So that's why it didn't click to me that was definitely Palpatine. Yeah. And then when he said it, I'm like it, it makes sense because they brought him back for this movie. Mm-hmm. Um when so at, at what point did that was in the scene uh, when no. when they're in the hangar. Was it in the hangar? Kylo and Rey are in the hangar, surrounded by all the stormtroopers. When he's telling her who she is. Okay. Now, okay, I missed what he said. Who are her parents? His children. One of them is his. Ch- right. His child. Didn't he say Vader's daughter and his son? And and no, 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 no. He was saying I'm of vader and you are of him i i want to hear that line again because i did i, I was very confused no, he was he was saying that to kylo ren like he's no kylo he's said a, it to ray he, oh yeah yeah kylo said it to ray but he's saying yeah he's so sh- a vader sh- and she's of palpatine palpatine is that what it's he like was that, saying that, yeah that, that wonderful combo that's what it had to do with okay yeah i was confused so her mom is just a div- uh, some random force user potentially no, her mom or dad. One of them are Palpatine's. I think her dad children. was. I, th- I thought I remember hearing that her dad is Palpatine's son. I got okay. I and got I confused thought about someone that. said that her mom was Vader's daughter. I'm like, huh? Yeah, no, it w- it wasn't that. Okay. Um. But we'll we'll confirm that stuff at another, the next seven, on another eight times we see it. Yeah. <laughs> when when they said that uh that his intent was never to um never to kill her. Yeah, but instead to like just always lure her oh in there, I was like, "Oh, you're Empress so conniving." Palpatine, uh, that blew my mind. That was a great line. I'm like, "Oh my god, that that's so line. cool!" I couldn't have predicted any and of that, the, the throne. Way that yeah. Oh my god, that place was terrifying. Just the fact that that was a tempting throne. I was so like, "I want yeah, to sit on it." She was like, going Ooh. to. That's a that's an iron <laughs> throne right there. Oh yeah. yeah. Um. So. I love that we got the a thousand generations of Jedi live in you. Yep. And now every Sith ever is in me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is a terrifying prospect. Uh-huh. Terrifying. There's no more rule of two. He's like, yeah, it's just me. I'm good. I can do this. Things are changing. They were. <laughs> he was he was like fully he still looked a little creepy, but yeah fully powerful he probably felt really good he's like i can go for a jog right now he was he was back to normal and when he cool clothes too so i i still i'm still want to steer clear of the end okay because that's a whole yeah i want to make we'll sure we there. touch we're, on everything we're, else we're, we're just hinting at it but yeah and that's why so what, what else did we miss so they go um okay C-3PO being on this adventure because uh-huh. I think it's the most we've gotten of him. He was amazing. He was, he was, he was C-3PO. They tricked, they tricked us a bit. Yeah. 
I, I knew and it. And I, I, yeah. I knew it. I, I, when they showed that trailer and he's like, one last look at my friends. Right. And I was like, no, you can't do that. You can't kill C-3PO. And I was and, never even concerned. Even and, when he came back without the memory, I'm like, ah, I'm, I'm fine with this. No, no. And so I, I was like, oh, he's going to like die. Right. Like really like short circuit, not have his memory wiped. Okay. That when, point in the trailer made me cry. Exa- no, exactly. Where I was like, I, 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 I can't, I, I can't deal can't with do this. this. Yeah. And so when, when they said um, that his memory was going to get wiped, yeah. I was like, I, okay, I'm, I'm okay with this. Like I'm, I'm more okay with this. Yeah. Um, and I immediately went to it was wiped at the end of three. He's he's been through this before. Yeah. So it's he's like, still C three PO. And and when he immediately was like, Hi, I'm C three PO, I'm like, okay. It's and a little sad. He'll still be annoying and he and R2 will still always inherently be friends. Like even if he doesn't have his memories, they'll still be buddies. But I did hope. I was like, mm, the fact that they said R2 has a backup. Yeah. And he didn't say it's not possible. He said his storage banks are unreliable. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, he has to get back to his old self. Mm-hmm. But I also like that they never made us like wait and like in agony. Like, is this going to work? He just yeah. plugged in. He's like, oh, I'm back. They didn't have time to waste with stuff like that. They're like, we have too many other things to get to. Also, like, here's C3PO back. Uh, officially best friends. <laughs> They've always like yes. that. Oh. Hit me. Yeah. They've always had this like, do they hate each other? No, nah, they of course love each not. other. No. Oh my God. It, that R2 is. So. R- there's everybody else and then like like R2 might be my favorite Star Wars character mm. he's been my ringtone for as long as I can remember yeah. like he's my guy and so that I just I, I was I honestly was with this movie I was like are they gonna send them off into the sunset yeah and replace them with BB-8 and, and Dio Dio who was he was so much they, better than yeah. I expected him to be I was like was another droid <laughs> But sorry sorry thank you thank you <laughs> happy like just the right squeaky wheel uh-huh. oh, he was so perfect great but also important like yeah. he was there when his parents were killed oh which is God. intense okay mm-hmm. to finally see what was on the other end of the <gasps> no yes to finally get to see all of that yeah. i'm sitting there just like this is happening oh my god four years ago yep we we sat here and and took all this in. When and now, she said, "I recognize that ship." That's when that whole thing started playing in my head. I'm like, mm-hmm. "Oh, I think I understand like what this means." Like her that, parents got taken away because they were powerful. Like they're not nobodies, like Kylo said in Episode Eight, which I really didn't like. But they got. I knew redeemed. there had to be a there that that was he believed that, but was wrong for whatever reason. And that makes that work. Yeah, because it was a it was a lie that was fed to him. Yeah, which is what most of his life was probably or at yeah. least the, the the bad parts after he chewbacca tried to kill luke yep that was tough i honestly thought he was dead i knew he there was thought, no way they could kill chewbacca but i thought yeah. he was dead i really know i was like oh they're i i thought they did it for impact yeah to be like there's consequences that's to what this. i thought I'm like some people probably will die in this movie my my hesitation as to why i didn't think he was dead was you can't kill him off screen. That and I've I feel like I've seen more of him in the trailers. Like I feel like I know oh, I more of yeah, stuff I that is coming with him. That. I didn't believe it. I was like, oh, he's on another ship or something. Like Yeah, I he, couldn't figure he, out why. Yeah. It was kind of a weird excuse to just be like, oh, who's on a different transport? But, it, make, but it makes it, yeah. it, it, it does make sense. Yeah. But it's a easy write off yeah. a little bit. Also, why did they just take Chewbacca and leave? Like what the ship was right up there. Why didn't they go and get everybody else? What do you mean? When they had oh, Chewbacca, because they got the they, they didn't need they them. wanted to lure all they need was the in. the blade. Yeah, they got the dagger and they were like, "We can go." Okay. They were it, hunting Ray, but it was about but Kylo had Ray. Okay, right, Kylo was taking care of Ray. Okay, they got Chewbacca to, to get the dagger because the dagger was what was going to help them get to the place. So they had to take so that away. They stopped that. Yeah, and so they they were useless yeah. essentially. Um, Bob 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 Frick. Oh. Oh, he so good! I love that he <laughs> spoke English a little bit. Tried yeah. to. And his in his name, Baba Frick. Oh wait, and he popped up at the end, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. when they blew that planet up, I was like, oh, that little guy, <laughs> he's dead, and the girl. I was like, oh my god, yeah, that girl was hot. She was cool. She was. I cool. feel bad that she never got to show her full face. Oh, she doesn't need to. Carrie Russell was very attractive. They should have showed her. Is that who that was? Yeah, I didn't I know who that, that was. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's just, All she got she to show was her eyes. Cool. Like, I thought she was going to take her complete mask off when she was talking to Poe, but just to be like, yeah, hey, how's it going? So, I, I, uh, uh, I think there's something sexy about that, up, though. Up, uh, yeah, yeah. I, get, I get what you mean. Mystery. So, I get a, you. On a podcast I was watching, some they were mentioned, they were talking about how Poe has sexual tension with literally every single character he comes across. It's very true. And <laughs> Even Finn. <laughs> Oh no! So like, that, yeah. that's been the thing. From everybody thought something? they were going to be a thing from the first from Wait, seven. Wait, really? Yeah. I didn't know. That. Yeah, and that's why. So that's. Okay, and they, I, I was still waiting for it. Honestly, I'm like, oh yeah. I'm like, is he bi? Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like they're right? going to do it. He's just a charming guy. Okay, that's what it. No, at the end of the day, but that's what it is. That's so true that even when him and Ray are arguing at the beginning, yeah. I'm like, oh, they're having a fight because they're together. Yeah, I thought they were dating, but they for were sure. just pissed at each and other. And there was that awkwardness between like Finn. And I Ray love his character and Poe and Finn and Ray. And right, this like is there that gonna be a love triangle <laughs> going on here? But, but then Poe, when the when the when the mask chick got back, he's like, yeah. "You want to?" Mm-hmm. Yeah, you wanna? I love it. Oh my <laughs> god, like, I love no. it. <laughs> uh, I felt so bad that he got rejected, though. He's okay. I Did wanted it to work out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't. I thought she. She was agreed. like, "No." She was like, "No." He's like, oh. yeah, "Fair enough." <laughs> so sad. Give the guy Who a knows break. what he did to her? Also, love getting some more backstory on Poe. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was great. He's I, a great character. Like he just embodies kind of wasted character. Nate, honestly. So I, and yeah. So I agree. I I've thought a lot about this because Poe was arguably my favorite character in Seven. Yeah. Yeah. And and I still I still think just that movie by itself, Poe was my favorite character in that yeah. movie. Mm-hmm. And initially, I was very sad that in Eight he wasn't the ba 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 the whole time. He, However, I I do think it was. A growing opportunity. It for was him. setting him up to become general, it, and and he he had to fail a little in that movie. Yeah, he he had to not do anything to 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 see to be in timeout. It, almost like a timeout. Yeah, to to really have an appreciation for when he because he's so used to getting in, getting I, I'm gonna fix it. Yeah, and for once he couldn't. Yeah, he was helpless, and this movie showed how much he grew from that to become general. And yeah. Leia trusts him and, and everything. Um, also, him flying the Falcon. <gasps> oh, so, okay. That, Here's that a question. First Who in all of Star great. Wars is the best pilot? Because everyone claims that they're a great pilot. Luke, Han Anakin, oh. Han, Poe, Ray. They all say that yeah. they're great pilots. Who's they're the best? They're all really good. Is Poe the best? Oh, Poe's a really good pilot. This is, this yeah. is going to now be one of the greatest debates you, in star wars you guys who's need to pilot. i think you guys need to do an episode where you rank <laughs> rank the, the pilots, the pilots. <laughs> but it, it definitely could be a thing yeah. you could, we could do a whole di- deep dive into this yeah but seeing Stay how tuned. good of a pilot he is <laughs> and then seeing him actually fly the falcon and maneuver that thing yeah like he comes screaming into that hangar and like drifts it into drift a park when i was like i was like that was that, so cool just like, yeah i feel like only he could do that yeah Although it was on fire by the time like he was because he was done hyperspace jumping. So when they got into that and and they he went to hyperspace and then they went to hyperspace and they followed him. Not only that, in eight, only the main ship yeah could do hyperspace yeah. tracking. Now the ties have t- hyper each tie can track through hyperspace. Yeah, are you kidding me? So cool and jumping to everything that see I forgot about that scene. As, as a lover of the Falcon, yeah. as the only other time in Star Wars I cried was when they showed the Falcon in oh, Seven. Oh, yeah. There were, like, I'm remembering that now. That scene was I into just, open I the movie. I want to watch Seven, eight, eight, and, and Nine. That, we're going to do that. I just want to wanna get through Eight, but yeah. No, trust me. It, seven, Eight, Nine. Oh, I just man. need to watch that. We'll have to... It might be obvious, I don't know, but like we'll have to like rank the trilogies, too. Yeah. We'll rank the movies, but... like oh, I've been thinking about that. Yeah. Okay. So, so just to say, I saw another one. Well, now we know what the worst tr- trilogy is. And I was really like, I don't, I didn't click it. I didn't read anything. I was like, are they really trying to say this was this after this movie was so bad? I mean, that it made it the worst. And but but maybe it, that isn't what the article was saying. They all so. have their highs and lows. Like I yeah. almost don't know if I can rank them. Like they're yeah. it's kind of apples and oranges. Like really perfectly. Yeah. You know what? And bananas, because you have to have a third. Here, I know, I know definitively, definitively what my favorite one is. Okay. Um, the Skywalker Saga. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> also, Marvel. My favorite's the Infinity Saga. That that one's really good. I'm so happy we got the conclusion of both those things in the one same year. year. That's insane. It's nuts. Yeah. 2020 is about new beginnings. 
So which I is want, scary. I want more ish of this. But excited. I want more. I want to know like what is Ray gonna do next? I need more Ray. <gasps> oh. So I, I was never convinced that like the new characters were done. Yeah. It's the end of the Skywalker saga. We can't get into the end yet, but. Oh, I'm dying to get there We're though. Close. We're, We're close. close, yeah. So what else? What are what are some other big ones? Big moments. We missed. We got the C three PO. We didn't even say why C three PO lost his memory. Oh, because he had uh he could decipher the Sith text on the dagger, but his programming doesn't allow him to recite it. Which I love. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's How great. I love that. Cool was that. And, and it also yes. kind of alludes to a, li- a little bit. It, oh, no, no, no. I'm from, excited. From the Mandalorian when they're like, a droid is neither good or bad. It's just like the way they make them. Oh, the way they're programmed. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so interesting. It's out of his control. He's like, I'm not trying to be good or bad. This is this is just how like, I-, I wish I could tell you. I can't. Yeah. It's not in his program. It's not like in his capacity to do that. Who programmed him? Anakin. Yeah. I yeah, I saw your eyes. I'm like, what are you thinking? Oh, okay. How did Anakin know to do that? Oh, I want to say more now. I can't yet. Oh, my God. Anakin. So. Can we talk about Dark Ray? <laughs> oh, that was creepy. That was good. <laughs> but... Everyone knew it was probably a vision. Everyone knew that probably wasn't actually Ray in like a hood and some weird foldable double red lightsaber. But what it was was still kind of mysterious and cool. Like I like it, it that lightsaber. Me, I, I do I'm too. Really yeah. happy that they showed us that in the trailer now. Yeah. Because because we've all known that the dark side was a possibility for Ray. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it it made me be like, oh, what what's gonna like like un certain about what was going to happen rather than like oh okay yeah and then that, and then that and then it being a vision it, it with the rest of the movie it just kept flowing and yeah. it was like yes this is perfect this this was a great decision to show us this before they really developed like her character in this like i I, th- I think we all know going into it that Ray is not going to go to the dark side. Right. But, but they kind of can't. Yeah. They can't. Right. But for a few moments, like I was like, she'd be a really good Sith Lord. Oh, yeah. She's <laughs> because she's she so powerful. Like, oh, my God. Like I part of me wanted her to turn. I was <laughs> so like, oh, my God, destroy it. all of them. How would that have worked, though, <laughs> if she had killed Sidious? Right. So, and, and, and took over. What would she have done? Would she have pursued all the evil stuff or just hold that? Take- Hold that exact question because okay. I have a theory. Okay. No okay. I have I have a theory about that. Yeah. Let's let's go with um, Ray going to Octo. So yeah. this is after oh, yeah. the 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 big scene. She takes off. She goes to Octo. She's there. She's burning the Tie Fighter. She's throwing stuff in there. She does the lightsaber as we said earlier with with Luke grabbing the lightsaber. The whole I loved his longer hair too. Yeah. yeah. His hair looked great. Yeah. yeah. Um. I love that your hair grows even when you're dead. That's what I was thinking, too. I was like, I love it. And he can control what he looks like, I would assume. Yeah, I don't know how that works. Because he projected himself differently in, in eight. He, yeah. His hair was shorter. Well, he was alive, his color. Yeah. But, but no, that's a good point. I wonder if they can if they can tweak that. Um, well, but Anakin in six, they changed it, but he looked like Anakin. So, like, is that what he wanted to look like, or is that who he was? My or? theory is that was the last point that he was good. And that's why I went reverted back. Yeah, that that's my impression as to why they did that. I don't know if it holds up. But he was good at the end, for like a split second. Yeah. Um. So I, because I agree, that's always the thought that I have as well. Yeah. Um, Luke gives a great speech, um, as a Force ghost, which is all I wanted was Force ghost Luke, seeming as wise as any other Jedi, like as wise as Yoda. It felt and- very Obi Wan. Yeah, mm-hmm. in in Return of the Jedi, sitting next to Luke, just having a conversation about somebody who's who's now been through some stuff, and you can kind of talk more real. Somebody that that's been through some some stuff. I feel like you weren't ready for what happened at the end or at the end of that scene. Do you realize why I reacted the way that I did? No. Did you forget it was there? One, I forgot it was there. But that wasn't what the big reaction was. Yeah. That was Luke's redemption for never getting it out on Dagobah. Oh, yeah. We never saw him lift Yoda it. Yoda did it for him. Yeah. And this was his chance to be like, I 
I can do this as now. a force ghost. <laughs> yeah, like so from cool. even in death, he 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 did it. Oh yeah. man, do you, do you get do you get what I'm yeah. going with mm-hmm. with that? I, yeah. I I loved that the parallels, the fact that she got the shit. I was just so excited that that we were getting this X wing. Like back. she got to live. I, are through, you kidding me? Yeah, that that's was, that's my favorite. I love the X wing. That's yeah, my favorite. That's your ship. That's what I want to. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I want to fly around in. I love that she got to live like parts of the lives of so many different characters in Star Wars, though. Too all the Jedi live in her now. Yep. Yeah. Thousand generations. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. But like, I was happy. I mean, I love. She's so cool. Kylo's Tie Fighter, but I was. It was weird seeing her fly it. So the next time we see her, that she's like crashed it and burned it. I'm like, okay, that that works. Mm-hmm. Also, you're stuck until you take the most iconic ship. One of the most iconic ships away from here again. Second. Second. Falcon the, and then the, the and then Red Five. The way she destroyed his ship, though, like, when he was driving it at oh, her. Oh, the the flip. Oh, yeah. my God. I know, I'm so I know happy we you brought saw that, that up. Tra- I know they no, showed that in a trailer, they, right? They but not only not showed what she did jump. to it. Yeah. Mm. They didn't show. The, but that was one of the first things we ever saw. Yeah. I, that might have been the first thing. That's the opening shot is her standing there. In that desert. That's such a good scene. But she what just is, what did she do? the wing off. What did she do, Maya? I don't know. It was just cool how she like, like it was just all planned. Like she knew he was coming at her and she was just waiting. She knew what she had to do. Yeah, she knew what she had to do. She just timed it perfectly, started booking it and was just. <laughs> I love that she turned around. Yeah, to, yeah to I like that yeah. she turned around like just slightly to see where he's at. And she's like, all right, I'm doing this. And just. Flipped back with her lightsaber, freaking just cut off Shops one of the, the wing off, yeah. and he he crashed that hard. Was a uh-huh. Violent crash. <laughs> he just walks out. And, like I was like, oh, okay, that's gonna roll. Uh-huh. Like Sebulba's little yeah thing. That's all this. And Poodle. then it explodes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, is he dead? Like that's you know what I was not. thinking. You know he's not. But right, like, right, that right. was was Kylo not in there? <laughs> also, how many of those things does he have? Yeah. Because that's one that got destroyed, and then he's, he had another one later that she took. I'm Only fine with that. Ship. I, yeah, I, I'm not sure. Or maybe maybe the one she destroyed was the one from 8, which was the Thai silencer. No, it, it was different. This is like the Whisper or something. I don't know. Because that's the one from... from that's she, also the one from 8, right? That she cut. Yeah. No. No, that's the one she flew away the, from. The one in 8 didn't ha- doesn't have the round. It's it's a rectangle tangle. Oh, it is. Front. You're right. Yeah, that one wasn't in this movie. This. Yeah, this but is, is that is that? This is from this okay. movie though. Cause look at the helmet. I like. Well, yeah. I like the broken helmet. Oh, I'm so happy he had the helmet back. I know I, people I, hate it. No, they hate his voice with no. the helmet. Oh, I love. Me, always voice. loved it. To me, it yeah. made a lot of sense because it was um, fulfilling. He in his mind, he was finally becoming Vader, and so bringing the helmet back in. in it was like a, a. It's also part of the Knights of Ren too. He's like, if I'm yeah. the leader of these guys, I have to have my helmet too because they all have their own yeah. weird, unique helmets. Mm-hmm. I, I liked the Knights of Ren. I we did didn't, too. I, we didn't really talk about that. No. Yet. I'm surprised you haven't brought brought that up. Uh, yeah, I, I honestly, I honestly I wanted too. a little more from them. Yeah. They were a little bit underwhelming still mm-hmm. especially considering we haven't seen anything from them in the last two movies besides one vision yeah and we've been waiting for them there were i, I would have wanted a little bit more but they were fine my guess is they would have shown up in eight yeah and so they this was have. this yeah. was the best that he could do with that like where were they what were they doing yeah. during seven and eight i was gonna say it was hard because i don't i don't think they had enough time to like <coughs> Put more attention on them. Yeah, because of everything else that was going on. It's not a criticism. I just, yeah. w- I want, I want more. more. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm I want you. more. I want a really whole cool. series on like. I'm hoping. Yeah, I'm hoping that they maybe do do something. Yeah. <sighs> a Knights of Ren show with Ky- Kylo. <gasps> I need Jeez. more of him so bad. I know. I, I honestly, oh if you God. didn't like Kylo before, like after this movie, you're gonna love him. Yeah. He's nice. just. He did good. So one of the best re- like redemptions yeah. in mm-hmm. any movie ever. Yeah, he came back, but not not ch- in a cheesy way. No, nope. like as as much as they couldn't have Reiko to the dark side, he couldn't just be like, okay, I'm good now. Yeah, I and, was, and, and join them. The, like no one yeah. would accept him. We've been you know? thinking about that. Like yeah. like is he just gonna get redeemed? But is he really just gonna be bad? Like yeah. I. I'm so happy I couldn't come up with any of that. Yeah. And that 
they did it so well. And and they just, they did it respectfully. They did it justice. And he turned, like, with his, like, he, he finally had the same scene with his dad, like, with his hand on his face. And he says, I have, I know what I have to do, but I can't do it. It and was, there was like maybe two things that he would have done in seven, maybe thrown the lightsaber in that movie, but he threw it in this one. He's like, I'm done. So in seven, cause it's having just rewatched these rewatching that scene where he, where Han Solo dies. Yeah. It's hard every time, mm-hmm. but I really watched it with like a different eye this time in terms of Han knew what could have happened. And even after literally knowing he was about to die, he was still trying to help his son. Well, even with the blade, and like through him, through him. And, yeah. and, and that hand on his face moment. Yeah. And then when he falls, like it's one of those things where in that movie, it, it feels very much like it didn't matter. And like, Oh, he's just dead now. And now Kylo's going to go. What I think this did was show that Han doing that extra effort. He didn't get mad. He wasn't like, how could you do that? Like this was wrong. He was like, you're my son. And that, stuck with that was the memory that yeah. that's what that he kind memory. of relived exactly in in this movie and it yeah. and that so so it's like i look back now at that and i'm like han saved him yeah oh yeah by sacrificing himself because leia tells him he's like you're the only person that can save him like luke's a jedi it. knight you're his father it makes seven better yeah like <sighs> it makes seven better I'm so i want to watch happy. i want to watch seven eight and nine again so guys happy. what are we Even doing with, and, and with the finn thing holding lights it really makes that better yes. like yeah. i'm i'm it uh, makes finn in when he doesn't shoot it makes that better yep. now that we know like he's not the only one he wasn't just like i don't want to do this yeah because i was like oh that's really you've gone through all this training and there was up something to here and, and i, I wonder if this. it happened it was, to all of them at the same time like oh like well uh, that would uh, probably not because then that would have been that meant Generally they were time. simultaneously taking down not, another not the village. same second but like but, in the same era all these stormtroopers are dropping their weapons yes. and running away from it I, and i think that's what they were they, that is what they were saying yeah because it was like the force was doing something it was getting ready at the same time that ray was it, that was awakening and ray the it was all awakens. the force awakens in more than just her because yeah i thought it was her and uh, who, who was there somewhere else? Kylo, Ren, no. I don't know what you're looking for. Yeah. I know I don't. I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm yeah. just thinking. I'm thinking about like yeah, like I really just thought it was her. I thought it was yeah, but it but it wasn't. There was it was, yeah. you know, things had been going, and then that movie was everything got turned upside down. It was right. Kylo. Yeah, he came out of they because they came out of the unknown regions, and uh, the First Order made their presence known. So yeah, it was all of it awakening. Yeah. Um, I, I, I would say, and now with Finn too. Yeah. I, I, I'm so happy that he, that he has that. Uh, how do we feel about the last order? Cool name? Weird yeah. name? No. Final order. The final, final order. order. I was thinking about that a lot when yeah. it was going in. I like, liked it. I liked having another name for something. I, I don't know why I like that, but. You know why I like it even more? Why? <laughs> Execute order 66. This order is the final order. Has been tied to Palpatine. Yeah. yeah. That's he literally true. then made the first order, yeah. knowing he was then going to make the final order. Yeah. The first order oh, was a weird name. I like final order now. Dude. I didn't love it because it's like a weird sort of like the first you order. You just but, changed it from first order. It's like. But he was the first order. He was all of it. Yeah. yeah. He was Order 66 to kill the Jedi, the first order, and the final. It was all planned. And it makes it all better rather than they're just kind of doing. And- right. Trying to see what's throwing sticks. names at the wall. Yeah. Yeah. God. I'm so happy. You ready for the end? I think we should. If we think of something, think so? we'll get yeah, to it. We're there. So, Are we? I because I'm dying to talk about the so end. Ray goes to Octo. She gets the X Wing and it's time to go. And yeah, so then she takes that. She heads to the X Excelsior. Whatever the, the plan is. I like called. Excelsior. <laughs> um, uh, and then si- I love when the, when R2 picks up on the tracking signal of the old ship that he's. Oh my God, I loved it. Yeah. Little things like that. Yeah. And so now she's leading them there. So they're getting ready to go head to the, um, the sixth Excelsior. planet. Excelsior. <sighs> Ray gets there. She goes inside. She 
gets to the throne room and it's empty. And then she's like looking around and then it turns back and he's there. What, okay. what was the Hold crowd? On. That's what I was. Yeah. So I was. Lo- were you guys looking? Yeah. When, when, it, when you before they, we they had no faces. No, but before we clearly saw there were hooded people. I was looking at the wall and I couldn't tell if those were like stands with people. It was a stadium. It was weird. Yeah. It was like a stadium, right? Because yeah. I thought like it was just like a textured wall, maybe from a distance, and it looked weird. And yeah. I was like, oh my god, no, there's people everywhere. Who are they? Just Sith beings, fanatics. And embodiments of the Sith. Just what? <laughs> I mean, seriously, they were in the stands. Like, yes. Yeah, maybe they Our were like won. more spirits. Yeah, um, which is even creepier. Yeah. And we get the conversation. You know, Ray's been building up. She's a Palpatine. She has to go face this, and then he starts to give the speech of the all the we mentioned this earlier. All the Sith are in me. Yeah. Which is just creepy. How do you? What does that yeah, even mean? I know. What are the implications of that? And she proceeds to tell. He proceeds to tell Ray that if you, you now, the the entire plan, strike me down, and then I will be part of you. Part of you, and you will rule, or we will rule. Whoa. That was intense. Yeah. Because si- uh, I, I, did, I did still think he wanted her dead. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. But his entire plan all along was for her to take over. Yep. Which is wild. And simultaneously we have the resistance fleet showing up to take on the uh, the fleet uh they've got a plan they're going to take out the tower the communication tower which will not allow the ships to leave they pick up on that thing and i was really happy they did that that it wasn't just like take that out and then we win and they're like uh no switch it to this ship i was too yeah it it because again it's like okay we have four and we have six we have two death stars we have the star killer base and we have a thousand star destroyers that we have to blow up. But all we have to do is hit this one thing. And they're like, nah, we're not going to make it quite that easy nope. for yeah. you. And I love that it was different. That yeah. it wasn't a big planet or a big ball yeah. or something. It was like, oh my god, the super fleet. Um, and so Poe's flying around. And, Wh- which yeah. all have Death Star like power in them. That Every is- ship yeah. can destroy a planet. We, we did skip that. The, the planet where they went to get 3PO's message translated yes uh they they blew that up the entire planet one of the coolest planet explosions mm-hmm. oh it looked great that we've seen yeah I'm it started like, like crumbling from the side and yeah the, <laughs> that chunk blew out the, yeah. the right oh, side man, and then the yeah. whole, what and then must the whole that thing. be like to be on that planet you're instantly vaporized well yeah but if you're not though I mean, like what if you're on that piece of rock that like gets shot out and you're i like, think you're already dead Ooh, i feel like i'm going really fast and then you die all right <laughs> you know i think you're instantly dead oh but, but just what if you're not? It'd be kind of cool to, to experience that for like five seconds. Yeah, no, I know. It would be insane. <laughs> um, and so this, this, I'm, I'm a little fuzzy on, on the, the sequence of events that happens at the end. It's a lot of back and forth. Yep. You've been really wanting to talk about the end. What do you want to, what part There's do you want to talk about? There's a specific part I want to talk about. Okay. You let me know when we get there then. Okay. So there's a lot of ships shooting other ships, not many rebel ships, resistance ships. Yeah. A lot of a lot final order ships, and they've got, get a, the names right. they've got a ground crew, and they're they're now going to try to land on this. How cool to land yeah. on a star destroyer! It was good. It made sense because yeah. everyone in the trailer is like, "You can't ride a horse in space." They weren't oh. in, they weren't in space, and it made sense why they did that because they're like jam their speeders, and they're like, "Well, they don't have speeders." Yeah. Made that cool. Yeah. They have horses. Also, cool. the horses were not bad. No, I really liked oh, no, I them. Love, I, love I them. liked them. I yeah. really liked their design. I had no design. complaints about the ones in this one. <laughs> <laughs> they <laughs> didn't. They weren't so, you know, what, what, like they looked different than horses. Could it? Could it be that they were just animals and they weren't th- these these poor things and we have to save them and animal yeah. abuse is wrong. Yeah, there was no like hidden no. message about yeah. them in this movie. They're just, just yeah, we, we ride horses. Yeah. yeah, that's what we do. Yeah, it, I think that's why. That didn't work. Yeah. In the in the other movie. Yeah, that's and that's what I was saying before we went to the movie. I didn't yeah. hate those animals. Yeah. I, I think you do. I didn't hate those animals. They she, were kind of cool I, with the yeah, way they could, could like climb them. the cliff. I'm, but. I'm, with, I'm with you. I I because I, I I never really hated them, but I think I ended up hating them one because of what people said, and two because how they were because used. of Ro Ro Rose, Rose uh Roe v Wade Roe v Wade. Ooh, we are getting into some okay. activist and <sighs> activisticism. Activisticism. <laughs> Um, 
but yeah, those were, those were great. Um, we got that crew going on to take that, and you feel pretty good about their odds. Yeah, you, you figure at Ray, least to take down that one ship. Ray but then has, everyone's screwed after that. Yeah, and you figure Ray has a plan. And again, I'm I'm a bit fuzzy on on what this happens because at what point do we see Ben? Pretty late. No, you see him after you hear her uh, agree that she's like about to just kill him because he gives her an ultimatum. He's like, okay, you cannot kill me, but all of your friends are going to die. Yeah. Yeah. The only way to save them is to take my place. And now you're in charge and you can stop the killing. So for a second, I thought that's what was going to happen. I thought she was going to like take this dark power yeah, and then maybe have a moment of not being able to control it. And then it was going to be maybe like Ben was going to help her like control it or harness it. He was going to come in and sacrifice that. I was racking my brain over what was going to happen. Right. And, and I guess when he's on the way is when he, he comes to face to face with the Knights of Ren. Oh yeah. And I was like, yes, we got to have a, so he's a blaster. Yeah. And the force. That's all he has. Yeah. He was getting beat the, the, the crap beaten out of him. That's kind of cool. Cause it shows you how strong like the Knights of Ren are. That's true. You know, that not even like Kylo can take them on without with, a lightsaber. Without a lightsaber. You would think that he could just like rip them in half. Yeah. Considering he and Ray could both like pull a ship down from taking off, but he he was in a new state of situation. Mind. Yeah, and and he was not. But it also crazy. Well, what were the? I'm gonna call them knights because I don't yeah. know what else to call. What were the red knights? Sith that troopers. Were, there were Sith troopers. Wait, no, 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 no. Keep going. When? Where? No, I think he got no, it. No, he's right. Keep going. What were you? No, Sith troopers are the red stormtroopers. Yeah, that's you're talking not about what something you're talking else. About. The ones that uh, Ray was fighting. Yeah, when she was in the same room as um, Palpatine. They're I, like his version. They're like what Snoke had in his they're throne, just gar- throne they're room just guards. guards. I, I would okay. think they're he generally had those called. before. I yeah. liked red the, throne room the guards. scene yeah. cut, but you know, like the back and forth between like her yes. fighting them. And, yeah. and oh, man, they're yeah. so tethered. They're so. They're so They've been on opposite sides, but they're yeah. so like the same person. And again, that makes what happened in eight that tethering that yep. that I'm part s- of the story that they built up that that made it so much better. And I'm so happy they can still do that too. Yeah, and through Palpatine. Yeah, was he allowing it or Snoke was doing was, it? So did Snoke link them, and now they're linked, or was Snoke like constantly bridging them? So like if Snoke's dead, I figured they wouldn't be able to do that anymore. But like he bridged the gap, and now they're so they're tethered. I interpreted as Snoke Palpatine. So happy that's a thing now. Yeah. So happy that's a thing now. Um, Snoke, I think, showed them it was possible, and then they learned how to do it, kind of a thing. Okay. They're like, oh, I know well, how that feels. But and in, let's replicate in it. In eight, Kylo's. Oh no, never mind. It was all mental, because Kylo says when he sees Ray, because they can see each other in their own space. Yes. Yeah. He's like, you're not doing this. It would kill you. Yeah. But they're stronger but, now. But but well, but Snoke was doing. Yeah, and so I think they're both stronger. Stronger than Luke, maybe, maybe. Yeah, Hon- yeah honestly, maybe. Yeah, might be. That's what Yoda says. He's like, they grow beyond us. So yeah, yeah, they might be past what Luke could do. I think it's I think it's left a little ambiguous for that. Um, I mean, Luke's redeeming moment was lifting a Tie Fighter or a X Wing out of the water when Ray and Kylo both pulled a ship down from the sky. So that's yeah. a little bit. Stronger, it seems. So, yeah. and 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 she's been had this weird. Oh my god! It it her her unexplained power. Why is she so powerful? Why is this random girl so powerful? Yeah. Hello. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cause she's the granddaughter the grand of arguably one of the most powerful people in the entire galaxy. For a quick second. Yes. Does that lineage make sense generationally? I would think she's like the great great granddaughter of Palpatine, because Palpatine was old in three, and Anakin was at least like I would think Palpatine could be Anakin's granddaughter grandson in three. I and think, he's the grandfather of Kylo. I so I was thinking about this. I, I I will go back and look at the numbers. People will calculate all of this. I think they they've thought this through. There's it'll work. I think it'll work. Yeah. Yep. Because we don't... We'll see. Like, they also didn't explain who his 
But like, how old was he when her, he had a kid? Who's her grandma? Right. Like, we don't we don't know so, any of that. And yeah. I, I, maybe they'll expound on that later. It it kind of be a cool story to tell later. Um, but I think for now it it's okay not knowing I, that. It doesn't bother me. Yeah. I just I was did, like, I don't know if that do works. Think? Yeah. Did you like? Did you like her being a Palpatine? Yeah, I loved it. I think Are you kidding me? I really wanted her to be a Skywalker, but I have to say I love. No, I'm her. so happy she and, when, and she. when I realized she was a Palpatine, I was like, "Oh, I'm so happy they went that direction instead of her being just another, a, yeah, just yeah. another Skywalker." And Kenobi would have been way too out of place. Yep. Yeah. It's like okay, but why? Yeah. Well, Kenobi he didn't have a. Palpatine didn't have children either. That we know either. of. Yeah, they could have retconned it, yeah, but I think they, it would have made less they sense. They could have, yeah. I, I agree. I think that would have been that wouldn't have. It would have been weird. Yeah, it would have been weird. Okay, uh, so both Kylo and Ray, Ben and Ray, mm-hmm. have to. I know they have yeah. to be a name appropriate. It just depends on when you at what point. Yep. Yeah. They're both in a pickle. They're both fighting, and they're both kind of. Ray's not really struggling. She's good. She's she, handling the situation. She has two lightsabers. Ben is stuck. <laughs> <laughs> she does have two lightsabers. So when she's about to supposedly <laughs> kill the emperor after this whole ritual and she goes back to like strike him down yeah and the lightsaber's gone <laughs> that was a cool scene <laughs> but it cuts to him yeah. with his hand behind his back pulling it forwards okay now here is what i want to propose to you guys i've told i've talked to you about this i haven't talked to you about this okay there are two frames from episode seven and episode eight that are so sick of the two of them. There's one of the two of them with like their arms stretched out and the lightsabers going in out eight. in both directions in seven. Oh, in, se- in the, in and the in forest. And in eight, there's the one of her like on his back kicking her with the lightsaber, him with his. And I was hoping I would find one in this because I want those three frames like tattooed on my arm or something. Oh. And I was looking for something in this movie. And I didn't know what it was going to be. Could it be like the two of them back to back, her with her hand behind her back with the lightsaber in her hand and then him with him like grabbing it or something like what, what should might it be work because i also want it to be like a, a an evolution too of them fighting each other working together and then like so two li- blue lightsabers even that could work but i think because they weren't in the same physical space but i think that makes it cool too. and that's no and that's why it could work because i didn't see Depending anything else in the rest of the movie that really it would worked. be once he's inside look for a look for a, a clip they, there. they never that, that's why yeah. I, we'll watch it. We'll watch it again and yeah. see. There's definitely one in there. Yeah. Um. Because even when they're fighting on the Death Star, but it's, it's it was still... so close. It never like zoomed out to get like this cool shot of them. It was yeah. always like right up in the action that I never got that thing I was looking for. But I think I like. I love that moment. That that was my that was that it's, might be my favorite part of this movie. It, it's definitely that. like that's that's a worthy moment to be the iconic yeah like moment. So, Kylo gets the lightsaber. Yeah. He wrecks the Wren. Mm-hmm. Wrecks the Knights of Wren. Yeah. Um, and then he heads inside, I believe, oh, at this oh, point. Oh, I'm sorry. Just yes. to go back to when Rey is fighting the red guards they were talking mm-hmm. about, some of the coolest Jedi stuff we've ever seen. She's f- sending a, a blaster bolt around with the Force. She's controlling a bolt like through multiple people, deflecting it back. I missed that. She was sending this thing around, deflecting. She was doing so many things oh at God. once, yeah. taking on like eight people that were surrounding She's her, destroying was them. Was she using two? Just the one. Just one. Just one. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, that whole end sequence in the in the throne room, the new yeah. throne room, yeah, was I I just I need to see it again. I yeah, need to I need too. to get more. That was a way to end it. I'm happy it was that too, because I was thinking like, is this whole movie gonna end on the Death Star? Yeah. yeah. But it wasn't. That was just kind of the middle point that, yeah, I, that we had to get to this new place. I so the reason I thought that it wasn't gonna end there was because it was still red versus blue. Right. And I was like, this movie's not it gonna can't end, end like yeah. with mm-hmm. him still being Kylo like that. I love they were both blue so, too. So I love. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Like that. So happy. We haven't seen that. Of the twins. We've never seen double blue. No. Uh, Whoops. Leia. Being wielded by the same person? Just together. Episode three. Oh, no, you're right. That's the only other double blue that's moment. A, that's yeah. an epic double yep. blue moment. I was, I was, yeah. But still, I'm like, it's cool. I was thinking the end of two, was they had one green, one one blue, but no, right. that was very much. A blue versus blue. Yeah. Also, was that Endor? Did the, no. did the it wasn't, right? No. It's, a, it's in the Endor system. Yeah. yeah it, it's another moon of Endor. Right. Okay. Yeah. 
something like that. Because that was weird. And like, so the Death Star crashed onto Endor, but it just went to a different planet. Moon. Yeah. Because it doesn't look like Endor either. No, it wasn't. It wasn't Endor. Endor was a forest. This was like plains and crazy ocean. Yep. Really but, cool ocean. Yeah, that was really cool. I was like, this isn't Camino even. Like these are oh, yeah, these no. waves. This is like interstellar waves. Very interstellar. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember that? I don't exactly remember how it happens, but he like he blasts Ben away into this. He into kills off hole. the Skywalker. So they so he shows up and they're both like, <laughs> We're gonna take you off. Yeah. yeah. And he says, Just like Vader threw me, I will throw you the last Skywalker. Skywalker. Yeah. Yeah. And what a cool parallel yeah him going down the the pit Mm -hmm. uh and then it's ray and she's gotta do this on her own yep and he force lightnings her a lot yeah and she's deflecting it with one lightsaber but with two lightsabers (gasps) wait you guys missed a huge part we did yes what did we miss when ray and kylo were trying to fight him to fight palpatine what did he do do you guys remember? No. He used like the lightning power to like drain wait, 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 their oh, yeah, energy and like their he life. He sucked the life out of them. Oh, yeah. So that is actually oh, what I've been waiting to talk about. <laughs> okay. Yeah. When I said there, I had a yeah, yeah, I yeah, had a theory. Yeah. When he did that, mm-hmm. you know how he said, "Oh, uh, he didn't want to kill her. He wanted her to kill him so that he could." He didn't even want to do that. I think he went it even a few more steps. I think he knew all that was going to happen. I think he knew Ben was going to turn. I think he knew that they had a connection. Ray was I think gonna he knew help about him. it. And I think he knew that they were both going to be there. And his plan all along was to drain their energy to bring him back to life. And he said, "There, I, I am the one true emperor." I love when he was like, "Well." Yeah. I think, I, think I like your right. theory. Yeah. I think that he had that plan. But even if he didn't have a plan, along. I love that he was like, well, this works too. Because yeah, now, no. now I'm alive again and yeah. I'm going to take you all down. So, and I, I think that was definitely my first. And then I was like, oh my God, I think that, and I don't, I don't know. Yeah. But I did wonder, yeah. like, did he even have this a whole nother step forward that he, that he was planning for? Because yeah. if he's planned all of this, you would think he knew even that was going to happen. Yeah. And that was the... Then these two most powerful people was his only opportunity. I would like to think that because we keep seeing these like s- these Sith leaders, yeah, yeah. kind of getting the whole picture but missing something. Yeah. You know, like uh, the Emperor in Six misjudges Darth Vader, thinking yep. he'll help him, but then he kills him. Yep. Uh, Snoke in Eight thinks that Kylo is going to kill Rey, but yep. then he kills Snoke. I would like to think that the Emperor had this entire thing planned. I think it he makes thought it more it all epic. Completely through, and the only reason he lost is because Ray's that powerful. Exa- exactly, yeah. and I think I think that makes not that an better. oversight. Yep. Like, I I think that makes sense too because he's he was Snoke, right? So he was the one that initiated that connection between mm. Kylo and Ray. For them to get close. For them to get close, and it's kind of like he almost wanted it yeah. to happen, and. Because in the trailer, he didn't say in the movie, but in the trailer, he says, like, your coming together is your undoing. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. So, like, he wanted <gasps> that to, yeah. he wanted, because they're each other's weakness. Yeah. Yeah. So, them together is his best chance of winning. Yep. So, then he, he. So, he sucks the life force out of Almost them. accidentally at first, it looked like. He did something yeah. to where he's like. He didn't know he could. Oh. Oh, but then. That means it couldn't have been planned. No, maybe, no, no, no. maybe. Yeah. I, but I'm I saying it seemed like that, he was like, "This wasn't expected." No, I think yeah. it was. It was the look. My hand is coming. Look back. what you've done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like okay. I'm. See, I'm back. I need to see that part again. Yeah. I think. Because I, I saw his his finger was was slowly yeah. growing back, and I was just like, "Oh, I know my that goodness. was amazing." But it was so cool to see him look like Episode Three again. Yes, with the uh, with went the, from the, with the, the eyes, the milky white yep. eyes, back to those the glowing, glowing yellow eyes, Sith eyes. with his like velvet red robe, and oh man, is, so cool. Is Ray the only one that can like heal? Well, no, no. Uh, we haven't touched on that, right? Well, so uh, well, she healed him on the Death Star. Well, no, she healed she, no, Kylo. No, right. Yeah, after she, she healed stabbed the, him in anger. She healed the, the, snake. the snake. The snake in the tunnel. Oh yeah. Then she healed Kylo, and then <laughs> after, so the Emperor drains them, 
He then proceeds to, in the most epic lightning ever, shoot lightning up into the entire fleet oh, and completely dis, uh, deactivate every uh, rebel, every rebel ship. ship. Yeah. yeah. I was very nervous. The The shot of, of Ray laying there, just looking up. Helpless. Helpless. And, and watching this. And doing what she did at the beginning of the movie where she's like calling to the to everyone to be like be with me it went past it right she was looking up and then it went beyond. she went past the lightning into the stars and i'm like are we gonna see what like the force realm is like and then little and by we little didn't quite but what was, do we what do we hear one uh, voice after another after another ray you can do this we're with you these are your first steps oh from episode seven but then i started recognizing voices so I was I was trying to pick up on voices. Yep. I definitely got muddied. This was also the point where I was losing brain power yeah. and transferring that into bladder control. <laughs> oh my no. god! And I and I felt that happening. Yeah. And I was I, the most I've ever tried to shut that down. And I was still okay at this point. Yeah. For for the most part, but I I wasn't quite able to pick up. I all I was listening for was Qui Gon, and I actually didn't hear it. I heard Anakin, and I heard Qui Gon. I heard Hayden. Yeah. yeah. A, a couple times, because uh, yeah, they were they were jumping around with the yeah, voices, right? Because yeah. I, I heard Alec, I heard Yoda a couple of times. Alec, Yoda, Luke, heard Yoda. Leia. Yeah. I bet we got a Ewan and a and an Alec for sure. Because I heard the Ray that they used from Seven, right? But I think there was also some Ewan in there. Sure. Although and why I didn't, not? Although I didn't actually look at his name, I was only um, looking at the Jedi names. I didn't look at the. Honestly, I, I would be okay if it was just Alec Guinness. Yeah. No, I would too. Because um, that is in the timeline, it's him. Right at that at that point. True. But because uh, but, everyone's been saying, like, is Hayden going to be in this movie? And while I couldn't quite picture what a physical, like, yeah. embodiment of him would, would how that would work, was this worried. was better. perfect. This was better. This was how you get everybody. I thought also, because not everybody can appear, not all of those Jedi can appear right. as, but they still, it's like, oh, well, they could have. No, based on, based on what they've taught us. There's a select number of Jedi uh, that well, know yeah, that true. know how to become Force Ghosts. There's actually, but Anakin could. Yeah. Yes, but he's he's a special case. He's like the top powerful guy. Yeah. Uh, and then there is precedence in Clone Wars that they've established that only certain people can, and there's limitations with others. And you have to learn it. You have to learn it. We know Luke learned it. We know Obi Wan learned it. We know Yoda, Yoda learned it. Um, we learned a couple other people learned it, maybe. And well, that's the thing. Can Oh, oh man! Can it? Can we say some people that that we saw in the credits that that were in there? Luminara and Dolly. So and Ahsoka is dead. I mean, I guess probably, but I mean, oh. she's, I mean, she's dead. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, no, she she has to be because we're talking Last Jedi stuff. Yeah, the, you're the Last Jedi. You're the, the all. Da, 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 da. That's true. P- pre seven forward, that that is so. So there's still room for that in. Yeah, that's that's a long time for her actually. Yeah, that's true. Because she's she's in Clone Wars, right? So she's she would have been around. No, I, I think that all that all is good. But I think it's so cool that she was in there. Yeah. They're just like anyone that we can get. Oh my god, that's making her official in a movie. Yep. Just seeing her name in there. Yep. Oh wow, you don't know this character yet. No. Nope. She's in the Clone Wars, but she's really okay. cool. We'll we'll watch that eventually. Okay. Um. So Ray takes that. Also, I, I know that Ben is turned now and yeah. he's good, but. And not that he was hearing this either, but like, how wild is it that like he's been worshiping his grandpa, thinking he's Darth Vader all this time, while really his grandpa is talking to Rey, telling her to like get up and you can do this and you can finish the the dark side like that once and for all. Was always what I, I something Wait, I was confused did about. Did I miss that? When did that happen? Just no, just that his voice just was the, part in that oh, moment. Yeah, yeah. The that idea he was that. helping Rey. Uh, that. That so so and this was something I'd always thought about when from episodes in in seven in Force Awakens when he's talking to the helmet he's grandfather help me right I'm like bro Vader is not a thing yeah there is no Vader out there to help you right if you're talking to him he should be doing he should be saying what 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 are you doing but you know who he was talking to if he was hearing something he was hearing Sidious yep. yeah being Vader because yep. he talked to him in the beginning of this movie yep mm-hmm. he was manipulating him that's so that's that so, makes perfect it's sense so genius good. yeah. She deflects the lightning with both lightsabers. Yep. And is that what drains all the power out of her? She, uh, well, she's, no, she's already out when he, when he, he drains them. Yeah. She barely has any life force left. He took 
both of their life force. Right. He threw Ben down. That's right. And then Rey is laying there lifeless. But the Jedi kind of right. give her the oomph to get back up. She does that. And she, then she, she gets the lightsaber from the ca- the yeah. cave that yeah. Kylo fell into and then does that. <laughs> but what kills her? I think it just takes a lot of energy to do that. Like it when, was yeah. it was kind of the same thing that that kind of that happened to Luke. No, not Luke. Uh, Leia in this same movie. Well, yeah, where right. it was like like the fact that she had to travel like such a distance to talk to Kylo. So I think took so much took all that last bit of right. energy. That so that's what I'm saying. It was the the effort of like deflecting all this lightning back to the Emperor. Like that's what like killed her i think so all that effort because i kind of the timeline i'm forgetting like what i think that and then carrying all the the force of the jedi Mm. yeah that was her last hurrah oh i'm sorry we missed one of the most epic and iconic lines in all of star wars when he says like i am all of the sith or something and she says i am all of the jedi like that's so end game yeah that was such an end game moment i am iron that's really cool. It really was. Like, well, that was their version of that. So that's what I was hinting at earlier with the thousand generations of Jedi. Right. But the fact but they that they literally like right back that to line back, that that line was really cool. So, anyways, she so dies. She well, no. So she deflects the the lightning at him as he disintegrates. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Such a cool way to kill him. Yeah, they had some creepy stuff in this movie. Disintegrates. He's definitely gone now. <laughs> disintegrates and explodes yeah. kills all the other sith yeah. are the sith gone i think so i think so like that's what this movie just did yeah that's what it had There's to do no like that's sith. the only They're real all closure in me. okay so we now know we just we, have to kill you if we kill you this is officially yeah. with your own stuff right it's not me killing you with a lightsaber right um and he explodes and then i think she collapses and then the hand from yes, we go back to the 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 pit from the the, the pit. Yes, that's the word I was looking for. And Kylo, he's he like climbing back stumbles up, stumbles over to her. He is, you can tell, he has barely got any, and that's like where Ray was at too. Yeah, before she got up and did that. Yeah, and and he walks over, and this is she's lifeless, right? Uh-huh. Oh, so, she's very pale. Yeah, yeah she's lifeless. Like her yeah. eyes are open and she not moving. She did good. I was like, oh my yeah. god. <laughs> yeah, I, she. She really nailed that. Yeah, it was weird. Like, usually when characters die in movies, they close their eyes. Unless they get, like, brutally, like, murdered or something. But she just... Dead. Eyes open. I'm like, oh. Weird. But... um, And then he... So he stumbles over. He picks her up. Yeah. He kind of has her. And... God, I didn't know what was. I was like, I, what? I think he transferred whatever energy he, seemed he very had heartbroken. left. Yeah, he seemed really heartbroken. He loved her. So he put, yeah, he puts his he puts his hand on 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 her like stomach. Yeah. yeah. Um. And and I think if we if you overanalyze it, you'll you'll faintly see some color coming back into her. Yeah. I think yeah. they did a really subtle mm-hmm. like where I was like, whoa, is she coming back? Like it yeah. kind of seems like. And then she puts her hand on his hand. Yeah. Um. And then they just look into each other's eyes and everybody in their head is like kiss and they do it. They kiss and it was amazing and it was so romantic and oh, I didn't okay. love it. You didn't love it at first. At first I didn't like it. I was like, no. whoa, really? The but... Multiple levels. Like I, I wasn't really ready for it. <gasps> the music was making me feel things that it, I wasn't prepared to feel afterwards because mm-hmm. I was like. The music was very happy and like pretty and lively. And then when he died, I'm like, why oh, yeah. did it we, was, why did that, that happen? That was a little off. That was, no, it was intentional for sure. Well, I know it, it was intentional, but and it was, to, it was, I don't, hurt love, little, I don't love it. It was to hurt a little more. So I was shocked that they kissed, Me too. but I'm sad one, he's gone. one, the movie confirmed they're not related, yep. which had always been oh, yeah. something. Are they cousins or two? It, what it, what it says for me is they had, they really were developing a special connection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They, they, they thought that, you know, you're the only other person that I get. And in, and in, and Ray, like, I think, I think eight does a good job of setting that up that like Ray really cares about him. Mm -hmm. She cares about Ben. Yeah. And 
I think given everything they've they've gone through and then him, I, I, I buy it. I, I buy the kiss. I think it's shocking. Yeah. I think that's the only thing. I think it's shocking. Like, I yeah. think I, I, was I think I can be okay with it. Mm-hmm. It's going to, it's going to be one of those things that, that, that changes over time. I was like, oh my God, they're doing that. You know, I had that one moment of like, really a kiss, but I was like, no, I think, I think the fact that he did die after yeah. Yeah. makes it better because he knew he was about to die. Yeah. And it was like, that was his last, mm-hmm. like she knows now but, like yeah. that he cared about her. To me, it's like, uh, Cassian it makes and- sense though too. Cause like if anything was going to cause a big change in from Kylo going to Ben, I think it would have to be a little bit of love. love. love? Yeah, that's yeah. that's really? true. But that's like, a really, that's a really good point. Cassian, oh, that gave me goosebumps. Cassian <laughs> and Jin when they're about to die. They're both about to die. Yeah. It's different. I and like they that they didn't, didn't kiss. They they just like they just held each other. Oh, absolutely. No, yeah. they shouldn't have. And I'm recently watching that. They, but they could absolutely. have. They could have had them do that. They, you they know? could have. I, I and think to me, this was similar. It's like, I'm about to die. Like it, One, Ray didn't know that yeah. he was about to die. And, and she kissed him, right? Yeah. I, I think, think she kissed him. He just brought her back to life. Yeah. If he it's just not like brought he me kissed back her to as life. his final act. Yeah. <laughs> she I, although he was And then he was happy. Yeah. And they died. Actually, I like it. See? My boy, my and boy got like the perfect. <laughs> besides dying, he's no, he died it, happy, and it really was yeah. like a f- full redemption. Yeah. yeah, that like to go from where they were to 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 a kiss, and it wasn't like Rose and Finn kissing, right? No. Where you're like, what? It, it, they it, don't have a, <laughs> anything there. It it just it seals yeah. her trust in him, her forgiveness of him, like. And she's the only one that really ever got him. I don't think anybody yeah. else really understood. Yeah, I think exactly. him and like what he was trying to do, and yeah, you know, yeah, absolutely. He's a misunderstood kind of guy. Okay, I like it. I'm in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and I, I, I think that's why I didn't, I was a little I was like really you had to do that. Yeah, but. After I thought about it more, I was like, oh, no, I love that. It's, and it is it's bold. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's not just like, oh, and they made him kiss. It was like, oh, my God, they yeah. kissed. Like, yeah. I can't think of another kiss that made me like feel like that. Yeah. Right. Right. And and then it, and it makes you think. Mm-hmm. It makes you think about their entire relationship before. It makes you sad, yeah. extra sad, because they can never be. Like, it's tr- it's tragic. Yeah. It's tragic. So who will she be with? Nobody. Yeah, I don't think she needs to be with anybody. I don't think so either. I think, and I think it would that, be a betrayal to Ben. I think okay. that solidifies <laughs> that she doesn't need to be with anybody else, right? Um, but maybe, who knows? Maybe she finds somebody. But like, I'm really could sad. Her and ben work? is gone, though. Ugh. Yeah, me too. Like, did they have to do that? I feel like they could have. I've. That's why I've been afraid of. That's why I've been nervous for the past few weeks. And like, oh, what's going to happen to him? I'm really concerned. So I knew I, someone cause, was because if they do do more like episodes i'm gonna be i'm really sad right now that he's gone now that we're talking about i agree like forget the kiss but there's sadness here something happened to him yeah he disappeared yeah he disappeared disappeared. so i'm 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 conflicted because i was also nervous i was like i don't want kylo to go away however given everything watching this i think it was the right call oh yeah because no it was i think it was the best decision (laughs) He did do some bad stuff. Yeah. And yeah. killed his dad. He 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 didn't necessarily deserve forgiveness. Yeah. Another chance. No. Right. However, and that's what I'm saying like the, he the, got redemption. the resistance would have never accepted him. Yeah. That's Ray, what Ray I was, it wouldn't would have be been like he's good now and they're like No. Um he We're not going to kill him but you yeah. you leave. <laughs> like we never want to see you again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Leia's gone. He wouldn't have fit in. So their family is now all moved on yeah it also wraps up the skywalkers right which is another big reason that that had to happen so my last question that yes. i can think of i don't understand what she says at the end she, that she's what? a race skywalker okay so i didn't like that part. i don't yeah i'm, I'm I not have, sure yet i'm, I, I'm I have, thinking I have about a, it i have a concept but let's 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 finish up so uh so she gets in the x-wing mm-hmm. they've won they take out the ships up top they the Fa- oh lando and the falcon going and getting fin- i thought finn was gonna die oh yeah, yeah yeah i really i thought finn was gonna be the one to die but and again that was, it was gonna like, be his redemption arc yep. of like going from like i'm running away i, I don't want to do this yeah to i will die to save but i like that he lived yeah I'm, i think he deserved to live and 
Uh, and they go out and we get a celebration and we get to see Indoor. Ewoks. And Ewoks. Oh, the Ewoks. Brought back. She literally, my, my grandma's birthday, yeah. got her an Ewok card. It That's was cool. the cutest thing. <laughs> Honestly, I could not resist not getting it. <laughs> and that was all I thought of when I saw them. I was like, oh, it's just like the card. Like, yeah, that that's was, so perfect. That was great. Um, and just to make them more official. Like, to be like, no, the Ewoks are Star Wars. Yeah. Because a lot of people are like, that's dumb. So, one and quick thing about yeah. Endor. When we're on Endor, you look in the sky and you see a Star Destroyer. With a light speed trail going The Holdo through. maneuver. They said that in this movie. They said as it was much as I dislike million, her, that is really cool. They're like, that's a thing. It's a Holdo maneuver. I'm happy you said that because I also think... I'm happy they said that was a one in a million. What is? Being able to do that? Yeah. And I want to I want to listen again. There was a reason they said because I've heard a lot I've heard a lot of arguments that are like, "Wait. If you can do that, why just aren't keep, they just keep doing that?" Right. Take one little ship and go blow stuff up and through lights. Have a droid do it. Yeah, exactly. So I like that they kind of were like, "No, no, no, you can't." Like that was a special case. Mm. And you can't just do that every time. So but did they do it on Endor? I don't know. I'm really confused about that. <laughs> Because it definitely looked like it had been split in half. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna say no. It was it was done another way. Okay, but maybe. Yeah, M- maybe we'll see. Yeah, they'll, I'm sure they'll talk about that. Um, what other planets do we see? Do they they showed us a couple other planets? Right? There was the planet with the festival, which I was thinking was Life Day when they first got there. I'm like, is this a Life Day celebration? That'd be All I was thinking cool. was, I want that party at. You know, oh, it looked fun. Batu. Yeah. Uh, Yes. I just want, I just want, yeah. I, yes. I want a party like that. Yeah. I want to show up to a Star Wars party <laughs> in Star Wars land. Like they need to do special events like that. Yeah. What a, what an amazing opportunity. Yeah. And then, uh, we get everybody happy. They're back on the resistance base. Everybody's crying and celebrating and reunions and then the cut. Yeah. And there's a little epilogue. Yeah. Which I'm ha- not normal in Star Wars. No. It usually just ends it. with the happy or the, the peaceful moment. But you need it with the last. Yep episode of the skywalker oh, saga and she, she goes, goes she goes to where it all started tattooing how cool yep. mm-hmm. now this was my most painful part yep. of the movie oh yeah you were shaking shaking because shaking. <laughs> i'm like i can't get up now <laughs> but i was like i will see this yeah and i thought you were so upset after the movie like you were telling me to grab the tin because I had to pee <laughs> and i was like okay are we trying to get out of here as fast as possible or something <laughs> So, she goes to Luke's house, yeah. old house. All the sand that's, like, filled it up. Aww. I love it. It's so cool. And she buries... Well, she, she yeah, she so she puts Luke's lightsaber down. Anakin's yeah. lightsaber. It's not really Luke's. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, it, he used it, but, like, in the same way that, like, it's not Rey's and yeah. it's not Leia's lightsaber isn't hers, like... But that was so that was you, Luke's first lightsaber, and it was the yeah. one that came from Tatooine. Yeah, and I I agree that that what happened to his green one? Do we know? Maybe he threw it in the water on Octo. Also, I don't know. Yeah. But but yeah, she so, buries his and Leia's lightsaber, which I I love that. Yeah, and uh, it's cute. They're together forever. Mm-hmm. And then twins. She goes outside. Yes. No, and forget they're, they're twins sometimes. Oh, I know. Yeah. I don't forget they're twins. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, see, she was all in yeah. once she learned that. Um, and then and then at this point, Ray does her lightsaber. Yep. Her so yellow lightsaber. Did anybody else think anything else? The what? When I first saw that, I didn't think it was already a lightsaber. Oh. But it looked familiar. Was that part of her staff? I've always wanted her to turn her staff into her lightsaber. Did she turn her staff into her lightsaber? It looked a little lightsaber? too dark. Like it was very, it was a very like just be part of it. Charcoaly, yeah, black lightsaber almost. It's cool, but it was I very want, cool. It was very cool. That's Ray's lightsaber. Are they gonna be at Star Wars? Night? Yeah. Are oh, they that gonna one? Be in, yeah. Oh, that will be available. All to the new buy. lightsabers. I meant to tell you. So the the double bladed lightsaber. Mm-hmm. Read the other day. They it's on sale. You can buy it. Oh yeah. <laughs> For sixteen hundred dollars. Oh okay. Let's, Let's get do it. it. Yeah. Forget the wedding. I mean, <laughs> how I do feel after this movie, I, 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 I'm <coughs> concerned about myself and don't worry, spending money. I'm concerned about pops. The pops. She oh my was, God. She's, no, she already is. You know how she's been, and yeah. she was already like. Yeah. Oh, stuff. when I was walking over here, I was like, I'm gonna let you buy a Kylo Ren pop. Just so I can have it too. I have, I have a lot of Kylo Ren pops. <laughs> I'm gonna need a couple. Okay, but can Helmeted we talk about the very the very end? Yeah. Yes. 
So she she sees Luke and Leia as a Force ghost. There's this mm-hmm. person there asking who she is. Yes. One one, one quick thing. No, because when the Force ghost started to pop up. Yeah. So since eight ended, yeah, I had this vision. We that there we were gonna get every Force ghost. I did too. And That's how I thought we'd see Anakin. We got it with the voices, which yes, I think is better. Better. But then that started to pop up. It's less cheesy. And it was a wide shot, and I was just like, "Is it going to be one and two and, and three they just and keep four filling and five in. and six and seven and eight? There's just going to be like fifteen that Jedi all lined been up. Really cool. <laughs> I think also it weird. Like I think it would have been at too certain much. Point stop. Like Key Adi Mundi shouldn't be there. No. You know, like. <laughs> and so I, I think Luke and Leia. <laughs> yep. On Tatooine. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. I'm just finding this in my head as you're saying this. So like they're. Kind of her parents. Keep going. But they're not. I'm okay. I with don't it. know. I'm I gonna, don't I'm get gonna, it. I'm gonna tell you she, why. She, why she says she says who are you? And she says I'm Ray Skywalker. I'm Ray. Ray Skywalker. So here's the thing. And I had a, I wondered if this was gonna. I think I wondered about this just for this movie in general. So they had the the very clear scene early in this movie where uh, she gets the necklace yeah. from the, the the girl on the the first planet they go to, and she's like, "What's your family name?" Right, and she's just like, "I don't have one." We learn it's Palpatine, but she's not a Palpatine. In yeah, heart, like you don't want to carry that name. So, but her parents were Palpatine. Yeah, that's like that's doing a disservice to her parents. Who that's were Palpatines? Mm. It's like it's like saying that uh, Kylo Ren is a is a Skywalker, you know? Like he is. I well, I know. Yeah. But so it's like his his his. So so here in his, his family history, they were yeah. good, and he's bad. So it's like the opposite. It's like just because Palpatine is bad doesn't mean that you have to be bad. Like, yeah. accept your name. Leia literally tells her, "Don't be afraid of who you are." Yeah. Yeah. I'm Ray Palpatine, and I killed the Emperor. So. Yeah, my th- way that I think about it, or at least right now, is that they're all gone now. There are no Skywalkers, but that name matters. Yeah. And so it was it was like a way of one honoring them, continuing that and like, yes, she's a Palpatine, but she just found that out. Like she knew about Luke Skywalker. Are they true? Is it true? Yeah. Like, like there's there's a history there. Right. Um, and nobody's going to be like, hey, I'm a Skywalker. You're not a Skywalker. You can't use that name. Like, it's it's almost, it's like a fresh beginning for her. And it's, it's using it, like, metaphorically rather than literally. Yeah. I guess, I don't know, I, I almost wish a different question had been asked of her than, it's just, yeah, you're not a Skywalker. You're your own thing. Yeah. You, mm-hmm. you, you're, Above them, even you're you're you're, you're yeah. proved to be more powerful than them. So I, I I'm with you. I want I want I hope they can we can get a little bit of yeah. uh, explanation on that. But I can make I can make it work. And it was just I was a little upset that it was like that was at the end. I'm like, wait, huh? And then the movie ended. I'm like, wait, I don't think I understand it's, what just it's happened. The Skywalker saga. Yeah, they needed to. But end that's the thing. It's the end of the Skywalker, Skywalker saga, and then she literally ends it by still being a Skywalker. Like there's still Skywalkers because she's claiming to be one. I mean, the movie is Rise of Skywalker. I know. I don't think this was ever about the end of the Skywalker saga, the Skywalker name. Yeah. But that saga. Yeah. I know you're dying. I've always, I've wanted to do one thing on okay. this. I've, no, you're okay. Sorry. I'm dying. I've had this for two months. <laughs> We're just going to open this the real episode quick. nine smugglers bounty box. And then we, okay. I don't know why it came two months ago. You're a trooper, but not a stormtrooper. I really want to know what's in here. Cause we were talking about pops too. I hope I hope it's something good. <laughs> um, I've wanted to do that. <laughs> I know from the beginning. Oh my god! <laughs> can you in there? can you open the shirt? <gasps> so there's a Sith trooper sticker, I guess. That's lame. Taking <laughs> it back to the beginning. Yeah. Box openings. Oh, uh, the ship. Oh no, it's a logo. Is that? I, that's I that's, that's on the that hats, is, huh? I see that as being Kylo's ship. It is, but it looks like a yeah. I think yeah. I think so. What is that shirt? It's a cool shirt? Oh, it's Kylo and the Knights of Ren. Can I see it? That is sick. That's a cool Now shirt. I can really study their masks. That's a cool shirt. For real. I don't... Yeah. Should, I, should I pull out the first one or the second one first? This is what you should wear first to one. the next movie when we watch it again. Oh, I could. You could. I could. Yeah. Spoilers. 
<gasps> Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. <sighs> cool. That's the one. With his lightsaber too. Oh man, and I really hope that this is what I. That's so cool. It... <sighs> it's gonna be her. Oh, oh it's not. Oh, it's a Knight of Ren. Wow. That's cool. That's cool. So maybe was this? This might be a First Order box. Because it has the First Order logo all over it. Maybe it's not Knight the... of Ren, Long Axe. <laughs> I did notice him. His or Native no, American There was name. the guy with like a sword, like it looked fr- like it was from okay. Final Fantasy or something. Oh, I guess we can look at the back now. Oh, yeah. We've I, seen the I'm movie. I'm going to buy this one. It might be expensive, but I want that one, I think. Kylo Ren Supreme. This one? Yeah. It's exclusive. So. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching our review. Let us know what you thought of the movie. Please comment and our reaction. Tweet us. This is our, this is our off the cuff. We've been we waiting just for saw this for so long. For my entire life. I, I I when that first logo popped up, just I was like, wow! Yeah, it took me back to being a kid. Yep, and it's that first time that Star Wars lo- and I, there were multiple moments over the course of the movie that I just started to tear up. Mm. Yeah, in just in realization of what was happening. Yeah. yeah, like not even necessarily anything happening, just like oh my god, this is the last movie. It was very respectfully done too. Yeah. Yeah. Like really to the entire like franchise. Franchise. Yeah, it's. As you can tell, it. we it's so good. As you can tell, we like it. Yeah, we're dying to watch it again. <laughs> we give good reviews. Uh, <laughs> ten out of ten. But yeah, let us know what we think. Tweet us, comment. Four, four thumbs up. Subscribe. All. We'll see. How many lightsabers? I don't know. Out of seven. Disney One. sponsor us. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but You're my right name is Jordan, and my name is Ethan. I'm Maya. <laughs> we are the Huber Rebels. See you later. Bye. May, May the, the force, force be with you. Be with you. <laughs>